Hello, everybody. We're back. We're back here on Call of the Wild. With the fallow deer grind. I added some new zones to the grind last night. I did a little bit of deleting zones, as you can see. Um, <laughs> I deleted the zones here. Deleted the zone here. Um, trying to get herds to merge with other herds in the same zone, and it worked. I got one herd to move here, so then I implemented one of the bucks into the grind, so we're going to be killing more there. Um, I deleted the zone right here, and it merged with this zone, so now I've got two bucks here to shoot as well. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of switching things around. I also uh, got a low level here that I've decided to leave, so we're not going to hunt that zone anymore. We have changed everything around. Trying to get things to a point that's, like, more insane. How's everybody doing? Hey, Caspero, how's it going? Hunting with Henry, Bebop, JC to Hunters, CJO, Huntress, uh, Garrett, Dylan, Sky, Joinsky, Bebop. We got Cryptic, Philip, Tragic, Dynamic, Joker. We got Senor, CRMY, we got Miles, we got John, we got to Hunters. We got Landy, we got Country Boy, we got Jake. How's everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Hopefully you're all doing good. Oh, we're all doing great, CJO. Doing good as always, man. Hopefully you're doing good also. Alrighty, we got four here. Beautiful. Can I click it? Uh, really? There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, really, bro? Uh, no, Dylan. I don't think it ever will. I don't think it's physically possible for them to do cross-platform with Call of the Wild. Due to a number of reasons, right? One, the game's really old. Two, it was not launched with uh, cross-platform. Which typically would make that type of thing more difficult to do. Uh, three, there's people that use mods on PC. And it would make it so, like, a lot of people... You, you'd be surprised. There's a lot of people that use mods in the game, unfortunately. Um, I personally don't like that. <laughs> But it would make it so like half of the PC player base probably would not be able to play with console players. And if they tried to, maybe it would cause issues. Like if it was possible for them to join into the same sessions, like it could like, it would just infect the, uh, the console players with like the modding problem that we have on PC, right? Not to mention, EW is not a AAA studio. So they probably don't have the funding to uh, pull off something like cross-platform. As adding it to a game this late is very, very expensive and time-consuming. It would probably take a year plus of development and tons of money. So I just don't think they'd be able to. I could not see it happening, unfortunately. There we go. Bam, thank you for the super chat, dude. Today I got my seventh great one fallow. Six of them have been spoon and one Irish hoping you can get your fifth and for it to be a combo you want. Nice, dude, that's insane. You're already onto your seventh, my gosh. And also that's crazy that six of them are the spoon rack. That's kind of been my luck. I have three spoon rack and one Irish elk. Freaking spoons, man. The freaking spoon racks are everywhere. Like, you just cannot get away from them. What weapon am I using? I'm currently using the 300 Magnum for anything that will not make diamond. Just like to start by saying, you're going to say this game, call you the super rare crow. And also, what's the kill count? Thank you, CJO, first of all. And the kill count right now is 1,489. We're getting up there a little bit. We're getting up there.
Hunter, thank you for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. Emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad to hear that, Cooper. Hey, you know, you know, I'm doing my best. Doing my best to entertain y'all. Hopefully you guys will like this new setup I got going for the Fallow. I feel like it's going to really help our grind. We've got more locations where we're killing two to three Fallow than we used to. Like, this is one of the few locations where we often just get one. Um, I got rid of this zone. And like I said earlier, I got rid of that one. Shot them down to low levels. And now we've got this zone here, which is an interesting one. Ah, uh, possibly, CJO. I just don't know how I can make that fit on a tiny emote. Or what I could do to signify that it means super rare, you know? That's my only concern, is how I would make that work. This zone right here is insane, by the way. I'm so glad I got it to work. Oh, you're right. I could just do SR. That is true. You guys are smarter than me. And that just goes to show it. Sky, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Let's get a great one on stream, baby. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get a great one. Thank you for the super chat once again. I'm hoping we can get another one. Really hoping that we can. How many kills do I have in this grind? 1,492. We're getting up there, man. We're getting up there. How many kills? 1,492. Aw, it's adorable. Look how small that feller is. Poor little guy. He's puny. Boop. Two? Two down. Let's see what else we can get. 1,500 on the dot? Maybe. Could you imagine if we get it that soon? What does the dog help with? So, it's primarily for tracking. If you cannot find an animal, the dog will help you track it. However, the animal has to be bleeding for it to be able to track it properly, so... That's one thing to keep in mind. Alright, later, TTK. Thank you for dropping in, man. Your brother got it in 2,700 kills. My gosh, that's a rough grind. Jeez. Wait, for real, CJO? Dude, that's kind of wild for how far your herd management is. That's insane that you uh, went 150 without a diamond. Now, if you were grinding without herd management, I'd be like, yeah, it's, that seems about right. But, like, with heavy herd management, you should not be going that long without a diamond. Something's up. Something's up. I'm wondering, maybe, have you had any deer goat missing recently? Is it possible that a great one spawned uh, somewhere else that you haven't been hunting? Spawning two fives every ten runs? Not bad. Jeez, tragic. That's crazy. I did see your uh, super rare as well that you posted. Crazy, dude. To start a Great One Moose grind on Medved, any tips uh, for Great One Moose? I would say... Be ready to search the entire map. Very often. That's like the best tip I can give. You're going to be looking through your entire map quite a bit. What does the new Super Air look like? It's already uploaded on the channel, uh, Gavin. Both were albino. What's weird is... Uh, I got my first Super Air Fallow, right? 
and I edited the video, I had it scheduled, and I did a live stream, like, hyping up that super rare video, and getting everybody ready for it. And literally that stream where I was hyping it up, we ended up getting number two. So most of you that were at the stream saw number two before seeing number one, which is pretty crazy. I think that's the first time that has ever happened to me. Just absurd. Absolutely insane, man. Do you have a grind guide for the moose on Rev? I don't know. I, it's pretty simple though. Rev, just search every inch of water. And personally, I recommend prioritizing just the north zones if you don't want to hunt the entire map because the north zones are better than the uh, southern zones. A lot more open. I don't know if I did, uh, Senor. I don't know if I did. Like, I've seen a lot of great ones in Discord, but I can't, like, I don't remember who got each one, if that makes sense. Because I, I went through all of the different great ones people got, uh, I think two nights ago. I went through all of them. And I, I looked at probably, like, 50 plus great ones in my Discord, as well as in the official Discord. Because I was trying to find out if anybody has got any crazy, like, super weird wonky ones. So I've probably seen at least one of them. I'd say it's very likely I've seen at least a few of your great ones. If you've got multiple, that is. No, boom, it won't. Uh, shooting a female never decreases your chance of a great one. Um, because... Honestly, a female cannot respawn as a great one, and it's not going to affect your male respawns. So, no. Shooting a female is not going to decrease your chances of a great one. Uh, sometimes it might create new zones, though. So, that is something to watch, you know? You have nine now? Oh, my gosh, dude. That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. You know what's crazy to think about? I think this is the first great one that I've ever seen 10 plus people getting more than five in the first two weeks. That's pretty crazy. Like, that's insane to think about. Over 10 people I've seen have at least five of them at this point. That's just crazy, man. Like, moose were about the same kill counts to get, right? But moose were so tough to hunt a lot of them quickly that it still took weeks for people to get, like, two or even three, you know? But with the fallow, they're so easy to hunt and so fun to hunt and relatively consistent with the same spawn rate as a moose, as far as we can tell, that there's people that have, like, Five. There's people that got seven, nine. Um, I even know one person. Um, he's actually a friend of one of my moderators who has like 11 or 12 Great One Fallow already. Just insane, man. It's crazy how quick they've been popping. I've never seen this with a Great One before. And honestly, it's, it makes me wonder if, you know, this is why... This is why I think it's really good that EW has started getting a ton of different fur types for every single great one they add. Like a ton of new fur types, always a ton of different rack variations. Like they're giving us tons of variety, making it so even though a lot of people are getting them, they're still really interesting and cool because there's so many different combos you can get. So people are still interested in them. Yeah, Pike's got five as well. Holy, man. It's just, it's insane. It's crazy. <laughs> How long will I be live? Probably a few hours like normal. Gonna shoot for five hours. We'll see if I make it. Your brother just got a melanistic croc. That's awesome, dude. 
That's awesome, Levi. Jeez, Simon, that's crazy. That is absolutely insane. What were the two super rares? Both were albino diamond fallow. Anybody else think that the ugliest great one combo could involve the quad paddle? Yes. Quad paddle is disgusting. I will never like the quad paddle moose. It just can't happen. I I will say though, the only time where I've seen a quad paddle rack for the moose and I've thought to myself, okay, that's not terrible, is when I saw it on Fabled Ashen. Like, oddly enough, Fabled Ashen is my least favorite fur type for the moose. And the quad paddle is my least favorite rack. But when you combine those two, they're actually not awful. Like, I was able to tolerate it. I was like, this isn't terrible. Like, this is kind of cool. Not going to lie. It's weird. You wouldn't think that two things that I dislike could combine for something that's actually not too bad. Hey, AE, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing good, man. Hope you're having a great day. You don't have the patience for moose? I don't blame you one bit. Moose kind of suck, not going to lie. Um, aside from bears, moose is the most annoying grind I've been on. But nothing beats the bears for me. The bears are just... Oh, man. They're a whole new level of yikes. But yeah, the moose grind is definitely not super fun in most cases. It can be fun, but... You really got to get a consistent grind going for it to be fun. And in my experience, every single time that I've done an extended grind for moose, half the respawns disappear and are just nowhere to be found. Paddle rack? When was that a thing? What do you mean paddle rack? Are you talking about the uh, quad paddle? Quad paddle for the moose. It's like the, it's what people call the butterfly. Uh, butterfly rack's the other name. I call it the quad paddle. Because it's got four paddles. Or palms or whatever you want to call them. So I just call it the uh, quad paddle rack. Do it, Cooper. Do it. You got to at that point. One ninety seven. Pike, thank you for the super chat, dude. Making the spawn of fallow great one more could be a marketing technique. Hirsch is free, but it's a living hell to grind fallow on there. And Australia and Tiawaroa are better, so more sales for those maps. I mean, maybe. Maybe. But, like, it was the same for moose, right? Moose have, like, the same spawn rate, it seems, for great ones. I personally think it's just how the species is. But I guess there could be something like that. Thank you once again, though. Pike, really appreciate it, man. As always. That's a five, that's a five, that's a five. It's a troll. Guaranteed troll. Wow. You don't even deserve to be shot with the right rifle if you're going to troll me that bad. Guaranteed troll, bro. Come on. When am I going back to bears? Ah, once I get some of the fallow combinations I like. Because I, I don't know. I don't feel like going back to suffering this quick. I want to have a little bit more fun while I grind. Honestly, guys, we're making really good time with this new setup. Uh, we have been streaming for 21 minutes and I've killed 26 fallow deer. We might be on the road to 80 kills in an hour. That'd be pretty crazy. Let me make sure I got the number right. Oh, correction, we're at 28. Oh my gosh. We're at 28 kills. 
in 21 minutes, actually about 20 because I did a two minute intro. So in about 20 minutes, we're at 28 kills. That's actually ridiculous. Like that is super high. That might be the most I've ever been able to kill this quickly for Fallow. My gosh, and now we're at 31. Now let's get this last zone here. Hey, little guy. How you doing, buddy? Oh, he moved. Sorry, buddy. You had to get an extra bullet. You just weren't behaving or cooperating. You're 1,200 kills. Unfortunate RPG shooter. I mean, I'm currently at 1514, so... You're not alone, man. Hopefully your grind will end soon. I wouldn't wish a uh, 2,000 kill fallow grind on anybody. That That's just cruel, you know? Also, can anyone tell me if the blade rack is the circular looking one? Um, yeah, so the blade rack is the lowest scoring one. And it's kind of where... You know how most of the fallow deer... Like, uh, when you look at these antlers... The, uh, the tips of the beams, right? They're kind of pointed straight ahead. Well, the blade rack, or saw rack, can... They're angled inwards. Where, like, the tines coming off the back of the antlers are sticking out to the side almost. So that's the, uh, that's the blade rack. Pike, thank you for the super chat again, man. Could be the species, but it could be a marketing technique. It will also draw more people to grind now because... Uh, they have a true competitor with Way of the Hunter being a thing. Yeah, maybe. The thing about it, though, to be honest, Way of the Hunter's really not a competitor to Call of the Wild because they're a different kind of hunting game. Um, if anything, Way of the Hunter's more of a competitor to the Hunter Classic, I would say. Because you're not going to get the fast-paced experience. Like, you're not going to get the more arcade experience out of Way of the Hunter. So I personally don't think they're worried about competition there. Way of the Hunter's marketed more towards people that want a slower-paced, more realistic experience. Yeah, CJ, I got a second one, and it was actually during the stream where I was hyping up the first one, so... <laughs> it was quite insane. Quite an insane encounter. Um, I don't know what I just did there. <laughs> that was something, man. 670 kills and nothing? Hopefully you'll get it, man. I believe. We're now at 1516. My gosh, tragic. That's insane. And I feel sorry to anyone that had earphones in. I know. That might be the most insane I've ever reacted to anything. But I mean, can you blame me? The chances of getting two super rares in less than 100 kills of each other is like, the, the odds are like zero. Even with herd management, the odds of that are so low. Like, it's just crazy. And for both of them to be albino is even more crazy. That's got to be like my greatest, my greatest achievement in this game ever. Fallow have really made up for how bad the bear grind was. My bear grind was just so bad. This has definitely made up for it, that's for sure. How many kills were between your two whitetail super rares? Um, I don't know actually. Well, actually, yeah, I forgot about that. Now that you mentioned that, that's my greatest achievement because that was no HM. So the odds of that happening were like 1 in 60,000 or something crazy like that. Because uh, for a no HM super rare, it's about a 1 in 30,000 chance of getting it. Approximately, obviously. Approximately. 
And I think they were probably a couple hundred kills apart. The thing is, I was shooting does. So if we just count the bucks, it was probably less than 100 kills. Yeah. Now that I think of it, you're right. The two piebald whitetail back on Rancho Del Arroyo from like two years ago. That was definitely a better achievement than two albino super rare fallow in 100 kills. I mean, both are ridiculous, though. Can diamond crocodile troll? Um, yes, legendary crocs can troll. The legendaries can indeed troll. Couple little fellers over here. We're now at 1520. When did I start the game? I started playing the game back in 2016 in the pre-release beta in December of that year. Jeez, 3,114 kills with no great one. That's crazy, man. That's very unlucky. Very, very, very unlucky. Okay, later, Rehe. Thank you for dropping in. Appreciate it, as always. Can level 8 crocs make diamond? Not that I've seen, but I mean, anything's possible, technically. In the words of Jaxie Beard, on one of the EW streams, technically, any animal can make diamond one level below the max. But for some animals, it's so rare that it's never happened. That is the best way to say it. It is possible that a level 8 croc could make it, but I think the odds of it are so low, it'll probably never happen. Just like there's only been two diamond red deer that were level 8, at least with true racks. Since true racks was added, there's only been two two uh, level 8 red deer that have made it. At least that we have proof of, right? Because that's the other thing. Who knows how many times somebody has got something and just never posted it in a Discord or anything because they just didn't know that it was rare. Because there's situations like that all the time where somebody doesn't understand that something's really rare and they just don't ever think to post it. Did we get another super rare? We did. We actually got the stream that I was hyping up the first one. It was crazy, man. I kind of killed my voice that day as well. Because it was just such an absurd find. There we go. My super rare piebald fallow from yesterday made me jump out of my seat. I bet, man. I bet, dude. What other super rare did I get? It was another albino. Uh, this time with a different rack, though. Which is honestly amazing. Now, hopefully we can uh, bag a piebald or melanistic super rare at some point. Uh, we'll see if we can. If this is anything like the whitetail grind, I got a feeling we're going to end up killing like 30,000 fallow deer. So we're bound to get a couple more super rares along the way. Um, it may take a long time, but I think it'll happen. Oh, yeah, Jaden. I could see that. I could definitely see that being a thing. Yeah, Hammy, maybe. We will see. I mean, I don't even see a diamond yet. We have not got a diamond yet today. Part of me is wondering if I need to shoot down a couple more uh, zones. Since I went ahead and swapped a few zones around. Any animal can be a diamond river. Any animal can make diamond at the proper level, right? Doesn't matter what it is. 
Any animal can make it. Some are harder to get than others, though. In a little bit, I'm going to shoot some twos out of my mains and reintroduce a zone that will supply me with more shooters. Yeah, it's a good idea, Dynamic. That's what I did, and it's really helped the uh, kills per hour for me. However, I'm getting a lot of really small fallows showing up, and it's making me think that I need to shoot down a couple zones. Or maybe shoot down a few of the solos to, like, smaller males. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. We'll see, though. I could just be in a bad streak, so we're going to give it some time. We'll give it a little bit of time. Boom. Yeah, everything's tiny. I mean, I guess that could mean maybe a great one. Hard to say, though. Maybe we got a great one on the map. Maybe we don't. It is odd that we got so many low levels popping up, though. Joel, thank you for the super chat, dude. How do you delete zones, or do you just wait until there's only low level bucks? Um, wait, are you talking about, like, how do I delete a zone to try and get it to go somewhere else, or are you saying, like, how do I figure out when I'm going to stop hunting a zone? Um, in terms of, like, if I'm trying to stop hunting a zone, it's just a matter of shooting it down to twos or small threes. If I'm trying to get a new, um, if I'm trying to get a new zone... Or not a new zone. If I'm trying to move a zone to a better area, I just shoot a couple of the does. And then uh, reset the game. Go back in. Shoot a couple more does. Just make sure you're not shooting it down to less than two animals or else it'll delete. Or not delete, but they will not go back to that zone. But I'll just shoot does to delete it. Typically. Random does there. Interesting. What would you say is a small level 3 fallow? One that would score in the 130s or maybe low 140s. Got an albino and melanistic red fox under 50 fox kills. Dude, that is insane. The odds of that are so low. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy, man. Yeah, we got a bunch of small males here. Um, there we go. Hey, Zyphon, how's it going? You nerd. Hey, Call the Wild Gameplay, how's it going, dude? Thirty-five hundred kills into my fallow grind. Fifty-three diamonds, eleven rares, thirty-two trolls. Still no great ones. This is not fun anymore. It'll happen eventually, man. And who knows? Maybe you will be uh, rewarded with some short grinds after. I mean, Mel had a really long first grind, and then her next two were super quick. So. Maybe you'll be due for some quick grinds after you get done with this one. Maybe. Great one on the map? Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, there's a five. Let's go. Okay, I guess we're fine probably then. Okay, that guy's still big enough to shoot. Three more down. Come on, let me count how many kills we've got.
Oh my gosh, guys. We've killed 50 in 37 minutes. We're totally going to hit 80 an hour. Oh my gosh. That's insanity. And that's a dime. First diamond of the day. Let's go. Most likely, JC. Most likely. Pike, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Personally, I leave any threes that an estimate is 155 or lower. Yeah, um, that's a good way to go with it. However, the thing is, like... Technically, this guy could have had an estimate of 155, right? But that's definitely not one I would want to leave. I typically just look at the rack. That's how I decide. I look at the rack, and if it's one of the ones that scores like 130s or lower, then I'll usually leave it. Sometimes I'll leave one that scores like 140s or 150s if it's in a bad zone that I don't like. But if it's one that I just want to hurry up and get done with, then I'll leave it. How many great ones do I have? 42 in total. Um, four of those being fallow. Holy. Uh, you missed one diamond, Sky. That's it. Just one diamond so far. No rares, no great ones. No more super rares yet. And... Got him. Did we break 1550? Not quite. We're at 1535. 1535 on the day. But not on the day. In total. On the grind. <laughs> Could you imagine if we had killed 1500 just on the day? That'd be crazy. Hey, Jebba, how's it going, dude? Oh, it was fun, man. It was fun. I had a ton of fun. Also, guys, I uh, I went fishing yesterday with uh, with my wife and my brother. And I actually did end up getting something, so... Potential fishing video on the second channel upcoming. You never know. I got a pretty good size uh, cutthroat. So, yeah, we might have a fishing video on the second channel. It'll be a short one, probably, but... Might be pretty cool. Yes, I do have a second channel. Uh, could one of the moderators do the command for the second channel? Uh, the second channel is where I post all, like, non-hunting and fishing game-related content. So, like, uh, first-person shooter games, IRL content, things like that will all go on the second channel. Because the thing with uh, YouTube is um, if one video performs really badly, like let's say I, I upload a, a video of like Escape from Tarkov and nobody watches it because I'm not a Tarkov channel, it'll hurt the performance of my next Call of the Wild video. So it's smart to have a second channel for all content that isn't what you normally do. So I do have a second channel where I post like everything else. Hey, CJO, how's it going? Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Hey, Katie, how's it going? Yeah, 
Yeah, Bioka have been for a few years now. What time do you set time to on a fresh run? I just set it to 12. Because I've found that if you set it earlier than that, you have less herds that are at their zones. So I just go to 12, and then if a zone doesn't have its deer, I just reset. Like right now, we've got only two of the four herds here. So I just pop those two, and then I'll reset the time again. Oh, gotcha, CJ. Oh, gotcha. Ooh, big boy dime. That's a big boy dime right there. Potential 270 plus, maybe. Oof, smoked him. Let's go. Uh, there's still one herd that's not here. Let's reset. We gotta get this other herd here. Yeah, that is a big boy. That one's huge. Oh, look at the little feller. Hey, he's not tiny, actually. That's a decent four. Holy. We have officially hit 60 kills in 41 minutes approximately because we had a two... Actually, I forgot. The uh, intro song that I used today is longer than normal, so we've had about three minutes that we can take off the time. So 41 minutes, and we've got 60 kills. We're definitely going for an all-time record, I can tell you that. This is going to be our best uh, run for Fallow, I think. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Finally coming out of the lurk? I know, I saw you, I saw you, uh, deleting messages earlier, and I was like, oh, Caitlin's here. But, uh, I didn't want to say anything in case you didn't want to be known. Indeed, JC, I'm sure they'll stop by at some point. I'm sure they will. Welcome to the daylight. <laughs> What's your kill count this grind? Uh, 1,542. We've killed a few deer, you know. It's only because we're using a method of grinding that makes them spawn more often, uh, QWERTY. I definitely don't recommend not taxing your diamonds like I am. The only reason that I'm doing it is because I'm doing herd management, right? And herd management increases the spawn rate of diamonds. So, I only tax the absolute giants. Or the really wonky and weird looking ones. But I don't do this if you're not doing herd management. Don't uh, just pass up tons of diamonds without taxing them, unless you're doing herd management. It's the only time I recommend it. And the only reason I don't tax them all is because it gets really expensive when you're doing herd management, because there's diamonds everywhere. And, like, I would just be losing money if I uh, taxed everything. And also, I don't have room in my trophy lodge, so that's the other problem. But yeah, for stuff that I'm not herd managing, I tax every single diamond. So like everything on Australia, I'm taxing everything. 253. Beautiful. In herd management, what levels do I leave? Um, for the fallow grind, I leave level 2, and then I leave 3s that are the same size as a 2, so... Like if you get a level 3... That is going to score around like 130s or 140s. You can totally leave it. 
You recommend herd management. Uh, if you want to see more diamonds and aren't really too worried about that particular diamond uh, not being as special to you anymore, then I'd say go for it. At the end of the day, it's going to give you more diamonds, which in my experience makes the grind a little bit easier to continue doing. It doesn't get as boring as quickly. And it also gives you more chances at super rares. And there is a small chance that it could affect great ones as well. But we don't really have any confirmation as to whether it does. So I'd say if you like the sound of all of that, then yeah. Herd management is a pretty awesome way to grind. It's definitely the most fun in my experience, so. Hey, bro, bro. <laughs> How's it going, bro, bro? How you doing? <laughs> The Brobra? It is the Brobra. It is. It's the Brobra. Mr. Brobro in the building. Uh, in the words of CJO. Mr. Brobro. He definitely would, Jebba. <laughs> the thing is, if I let Brobra on my map for two seconds, there goes all my herd management. It's all gone. We'll take more kills without herd management. To get a great one? Um, we don't know 100% sure. I personally think that there's a chance that it affects great ones if you're doing herd management. But at the same time, I see a ton of people getting fallow deer great ones so fast without herd management. I mean, even Mel has been getting them like wildfires, right? Mel's first grind was really long. It was like 3,000 or 4,000. But her second grind was like 800. Third grind was less than 400, so... It's really hard to say. Because, like, on both sides, you have so many uh, occasions where it looks like it helps and so many occasions where it looks like it doesn't help. The way I look at it is it could help, but there's no way to know for sure, so. That's crazy, Sky. 80 kills apart? My gosh. You literally would, bro, bro. <laughs> you literally would. Oh, man. Bro, what? Uh, where's my herds? None of them are here. Usually there's one or two before I have to reset. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. And how's it going? Okay, they're all here. Just took them a little bit. They were, uh... Freshening up before showing themselves, I guess. Smoked! We just hit 70 kills in 47 minutes. Oh my gosh. This new setup is insane, man. Oh my gosh, this is such a nasty setup. I love it. Hey, Zachy, how's it going? Mr. Zachy in the building. You get any more uh, Great One Fallow yet? Or did the game uh, decide it didn't want to give you any more? 100? I don't think we'll hit 100, but maybe 80, 85? 85 would be insane. Like, if we get it 85, that'd be so crazy, man. 85 would actually be crazy. Oh, definitely, CJO. That's the whole reason I swapped things around was because... Before, like, the best I could do on a really good hour was 70-ish. Like, 72 was the most I'd ever done with my previous setup. And so I just got to thinking, man, like, I could delete some of these zones by shooting does and see if they merge with some of my other zones, and we got them to do that, so... Now it's a lot more efficient, for sure. You got a five, finally? Nice. Dude, you've been on a bad streak of no fives. Glad you got another one. Oh, gotcha, Zaki. Gotcha, man. Another five. Holy.
CGO's fives drifted to your map? I bet. Um, I've already done that, XS Quattro. I've got a bunch of herd management videos. Um, if you go to my guides playlist or my herd management guides playlist, it will showcase all of the uh, guides that I've got. And if you take a look at the last video I uploaded with great ones on the thumbnail. In that video, I go over how to do herd management with the fallow deer on Tiabaroa. You should be able to find everything you're looking for right there. Oh no, Waffles, that sucks, man. How many kills am I at now? 1,555. What diamonds am I missing? Most of the new ones from Australia. Am um, I missing a good bit from Revon Tuli still? Missing Greenwing Teal. Missing the Javelina. Missing the Musk Deer. There's still a good bit that I'm missing. Nothing there. Honestly, I think I'll eventually get rid of this zone. Because there's only one uh, shootable there. If I can shoot it down, that'll be great. If I can just shoot it down to a two or a three, that'll be lovely. Only one here. Interesting. First time I've been to the zone in a while and there's only one deer. Holy. Don't you float, bro. No floating. Illegal. Thank you, Levi. I appreciate it, dude. I merged some of my herds together. Yes, Andrew, I did. Essentially, what you do is you just shoot females out of one of your zones without being in a tripod, right? You got to do it when you're not in a tripod. Because your goal is to delete the zone without destroying the herd completely. So make sure you do not shoot it down to only one animal. Make sure there's at least two animals alive. So if let's say you got five does in a herd, right? and two bucks. You can safely shoot four does to delete that zone. That's what I've done with some of my herds. And whenever you delete a zone, they're going to come back to a similar area, but not the exact same area necessarily. So I was able to get them to go to some of the nearby zones that I already had. And it's just, it, it's such an insane and underrated tactic, I feel. Like, it helps out so much, but not many people talk about it. Can I click, please? There we go. Do I hunt in real life? I do, but I haven't recently. It's been a while since I've been able to hunt. My gosh, Jebba with the five gifted. Holy. Thank you, Jebba. Congrats to uh, Ben, AI Golf, Alex, Remington, and Levi for getting those memberships. Congrats, guys. Hunter11, thank you for the super chat, dude. Just found a piebald red fox on Australia. Nice, man. That's awesome. That is super cool. Honestly, Australia is really good for fox. I like it. I like how good it is for them. They did a good job with it. I didn't expect it to be that good, but I'm happy that it is really good for them. Do 18. Boom. Jebba the goat. Oh, yeah. 
was trying to click on the emojis. Whoops. Oh, sure, Jebba. Oh, sure. You got a Diamond Gator? Nice. Pass in plays. That's awesome, man. Diamond Gators are cool. What's faster, herd or no herd? If you're asking, like, what's faster to get a great one, nobody really knows 100%. But there's a lot of people that think that HM might be faster. It's just really hard to say for sure, though. Oh, yeah, it's awesome, CJ. I love it. Um, Australia's got to be the best map they've ever made. I'm such a huge fan of it. I could play that map for hours. Hours upon hours, man. How rare is an albino saltwater croc? Very rare. It's very rare. Oh, you didn't have the allow gifts on. Oh, no. Well, at least you do now. Hopefully, you'll end, you'll end up getting one next time somebody gifts one. Oh, definitely, uh, Barley. Definitely. And I agree, it does feel like two maps combined into one with how much you get out of it. Yeah, for sure, Jebba, he does. Well, it bases it off of who's, like, in the streams the most, right? So, the people that are most likely to get a gifted membership are the ones that are in chat all the time. YouTube prioritizes people that are in chat talking all the time. How rare is an albino stubble quail? Very rare. I don't think it's as rare as the bobwhite quail, but it's definitely rare. Nothing there. Well, guys, we're currently at 79 kills in the first hour, and we still got a couple minutes left because we started shooting fallow deer at about three minutes into the stream. So, that means we're currently 56 minutes and 50 seconds or something like that into this run. Or this hour, I guess, of hunting. That's a five. We're suddenly missing a respawn here. What's up with that, eh? Not what I want to see. We're missing a respawn here. However, that was our 80th kill in the last, uh, the last 57 minutes. That's crazy. That's insane, man. 263. Jeez. Love to see it. Have I ever thought about doing a feed zone grind? Not really, just because uh it would be such a long grind to even like get set up on because feed zones are tough to find. Like uh, if I did a feed zone grind. I'd probably still be looking for zones right now. It's just so tough to find out where they're going to be. Because, like, if you're hunting in drink zones, you know to go to water. If you're hunting in feed zones, it's like, where are they going to be? You have no way to know, really. So it's like, what do you even do? Oh, gosh, I should have left that. I should have left that. I've kind of been thinking about getting rid of that getting rid of that zone. It is what it is. Oh my gosh, everything came back tiny. Oh my gosh. Is that that guy? But everything else came back tiny. I don't want to get rid of these zones, though. These are all good. That's crazy, bro. We got one minute left before we'll hit an hour of grinding, and we are currently at 84 kills in our first hour. That's crazy, man. 84 is, like, ridiculous.
How many diamonds do I have? Uh, diamond count and great one counter at the top of the uh, stream. You can see them right up there. Kill 97 is a great one calling it. Maybe. Hopefully. There he is. Got my great one white tail on Revan Tulia. It was typical rack, but I want a big rack one too. Decided to switch to Layton. Any tips? Um, I've actually done a lot of Layton grinding, so I recommend checking out my Layton Great One guide. It's going to be in the Herd Management Guides playlist and also in the regular guides playlist, so check it out if you haven't. It should be the thumbnail. It's got a drop tie and rack Great One Whitetail on it. Ah, uh, you got gifted one AI Golf. Jebba ended up gifting some memberships and you got lucky enough to get one. And we just ended the first hour. 84 kills. Oh my. 84 kills. That's nuts. Eighty four Ah Ah man. Bro. 84 kills in one hour is pretty crazy. We are officially up to whitetail levels. We are up to whitetail levels of efficiency now. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't need to be in the stand for this, really. Though I can't even see him, so... Oof. Thing is, it'll just take so much time to get in the stand after running over here. You know what? Here we go. It's not like this will delete the zone, so we should be good. Yeah, we're good. Uh, Pike, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Um, HM seems to affect fallow great ones. You have four great one fallow longest grind, 1.5k kills. Mel doesn't use HM. Had a 3.4k kill grind. Flinter, no HM, 4.2k kills. AC, no HM, 2.2k kill grind. Two of the three no HM grinders have zero great one fallow. Yeah, but I buy also does HM to a more extreme extent than me, and he had a 3,000 kill grind. Um, he's currently on a 1,500 kill grind that hasn't ended, and then he had like a 600 kill grind. Or uh, was it 8? It might have been a 600. I think it was 600. So, like, it's... That's why it's so tough, right? Because there's stuff that leans in both directions. And also, it's also a matter of who's counting their kills correctly and who is guessing and might be overestimating or underestimating even because I use a counter app on my phone but I know for a fact that like I don't think Mel uses a counter I don't think Clinton does I don't think uh, I don't think Flinter uses a counter either so it's hard to say if it's 100% accurate right I use the app so that I know I'm 100% accurate on my counts. And like people throughout the community that, you know, get their great ones and post it in Discord and say they got it in, you know, a certain amount of kills, it's hard to say if they're exaggerating or not as well. Which I think is why it's still so difficult to determine whether or not it actually does affect them. I think it probably does a little bit, especially for Fallow and Moose, but again, it's hard to say for sure. Because I can tell you one thing, I used to just estimate my kills, and the way I would do it is I'd get as many kills as I could in 10 minutes, and then multiply it by 6 to see how many I would get in an hour. And I would just base my kill counts off of how long I grinded that day. If I grinded 3 hours, then I'd say I've killed probably about 300 whitetail deer, right? There's probably many occasions where that was incorrect. No, I keep doing that! Bro. Oh, 
my gosh. And obviously, I'm not saying that anybody is like ever purposely like misrepresenting their kill counts. I'm just saying it's hard to know if you're not actually keeping a to a T count of it. It's really hard to know if you're actually counting properly. David, thank you so much for the super chat, man. Really appreciate it. Saw five medium magpie yesterday. Don't know how to find it. Any tips, please? I already set up where I last saw it. And to be honest, man, that's really all you can do. Really, all you can do is set up where you saw it. Maybe set up in the direction it was going or set up where it came from. That might also help. You could try that if you'd like. Time to tire out the fingers. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough, man. Oh my gosh. What is the highest scoring diamond fallow I've seen? Um, it was my 270, I believe. I haven't seen anybody get one above 270 so far. Are those coins real? What do you mean, are those coins real? Are you asking if I got all my money in game legitimately? If that's the question, yes, I've got 5,800 hours on the game and have used a good majority of those hours grinding for great ones. So we've earned millions off of just doing bear grinding alone. Millions off of red deer grinding, white tail grinding, moose grinding, and now fallow grinding. Moose and fallow didn't really gain me too much, but primarily because of the amount of time resets I've had to do. But the bears have been a gold mine. Oh my gosh, we got a two there. Okay, we're going to leave that. I don't feel like hunting that zone anymore, so we're going to leave that too. Try to condense it down to just like the three best zones here. Bro, how is that not vitals, eh? Hey, Nate, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing good, Nate. There's the final one that's here. Just got off work. Nice, dude. Nice. Did I already get a great one, Black Bear? Nope. Never got a great one, Bear. 8.2 thousand bear kills and no great one. It's unfortunate, man. But it is what it is. Uh, nobody knows yet, CJ. It's still too early to know for sure. Because something to think about is like 272 scoring red deer exists, right? But there's only been a couple posted in the discords before, so... It's like a very, very rare thing. There could be 271 fallow deer that are just as rare, right? It could be something that only a few people will ever get. How many kills do I have in total? Like 85,000 kills in total. Um, however, my codex doesn't count them correctly. It says like 85,000. However, I've killed more than that because I didn't claim everything, right? If I make a bad shot on an animal, I don't usually claim it. But it's still going to respawn. So it counts as a kill. So I've definitely killed probably like, I'd say at least 95,000 animals in total. And that's not just counting Great One Grinds. That's in total. So bear stream tomorrow? Nope. I got to get at least a couple of the fallow combinations that I wanted. Then we'll think about bears. Th then we'll think about suffering again. <laughs> I 
Holy. How many kills am I into the grind? 1,578. Look at that little feller. I bet he has nightmares about the bears. <sighs> no, I try to block them out of my memory as much as I can. I try to just forget that bears are even a thing. I try to pretend that they're not here. And then it makes it all better. Your buddy got a great one, Fallow, and 279 kills. That's really quick, man. That is, like, super fast. You love to see it. No, I don't have a great one, Bear. I don't. Later, CJO. Thank you for dropping in. Always appreciate it. We love watching you suffer. Wow. Here I thought you guys only wanted the best for me. But it turns out you just want to watch me suffer. Feels bad, man. Nothing new there. Wow, okay. I like watching Crow thrive. Hey, I like that. Why won't your respawns show up? I mean, there's a million potential reasons. Um, either they've gone to a new zone um, joined one of your other zones, or it could just be that they're late to their zone. There's a lot of different possibilities, and you, ne you never know which one it's going to be. What's the counter app called? It's called Click Counter. One mail. My girlfriend got her great one red deer last night. Took us around 3k kills. Jeez, dude. That's about the length of my red deer grinds as well. My first two were 3k each. Uh, my third was 6,000 and my fourth was 6,700. So, yeah, seems about right, man. Seems about right. Congrats. Congrats to her on the great one. It barely wait for the bear grind to start back up. Uh, oh, man. The puns just never stop. Even when I'm no longer grinding bears, the puns never leave. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh. Pretty much, Austin. Pretty much. <laughs> Nothing over there. Okay. Interesting. We only got two here. Honey is how you get the great one bear. Probably. You got to be sweet to it. Give it a pot of honey. Old Winnie the Pooh over here. Uh, yeah, Tyler, I do. I do. Yeah, I mean... I know, Drippy, it's just... If I'm not having fun, then... What's the point in grinding for bears? If I'm not having fun, then... Why would I do it? Uh, 
Oh, nice, Fellblade, nice. That's crazy, dude. For the content? Yes, but my sanity is important as well. You got your great one, Tragic? Nice, dude. 2,800 kills. Wow. Crazy, dude. That is a long, long grind. How many kills am I for Whitetail? Like in total? In total for Whitetail, I've killed 37,000 across all my grinds. My most recent Whitetail grind though, I don't know what I stopped at. I don't know what I left off at. I think I left off at like five or 600. I could be wrong though. Whoa, why are you running? I mean, I get that you probably know I'm about to shoot you, but chill. Chill, bro. No clue, Andrew. I don't believe he did. I feel like I would have heard about it if he did. Crocs are the best for money. They are really good. Uh, Rusadir are actually a little better, I think, though. If you go to the Rusa hotspot in the north of the map, Rusa give like 1,600 each, and they're super plentiful up there, and it makes them a really good way to grind money. Nice, Seth. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Battle's really good if you use the correct gun. Yeah, I imagine they probably are. I remember for a long time they were uh, regarded as one of the best. Hold up, what's wrong? We don't have bucks here. What is up with our buck spawns? We got a few zones that have just knock out their males back recently. Maybe we'll be getting a great one, hopefully. Hopefully we'll be getting a great one soon. Like this herd is missing as well. We're missing a male in that herd too. I don't get it, man. What is up with that? Sixteen hundred on the dot, maybe. No males here. Um, I guess we'll shoot a couple does. Maybe we can get a buck to swap with them. Bring back this intro. I don't do intros in my video anymore. My videos, I, I just don't do intros anymore. Because what happens when you do like lengthy intros in your videos? that aren't related to the video, you know, like a default intro. What happens is new viewers click off before they even get to the video. They'll watch like, they'll see a 30 second intro and they're like, okay, I'm out. So it's actually pretty bad for a channel to do long intros. It typically hurts them more than it helps them. Those can respawn as bucks, right? No, they can't. They cannot respawn as bucks. However, I have seen occasions where they've swapped with bucks. So like I kill a buck here and then I kill a doe somewhere else and maybe that buck and doe will swap or maybe they'll even create a new zone if you kill enough does. I've had that happen as well. But a doe can never respawn as a buck. At least as far as we know.
How many kills do you think it will take for my great one Fallow to spawn? I'm going to say 802. That's my prediction, 802. Great one on river? You think we're going to get a great one on the river? Maybe. How much money do I have in game? Uh, I'll have to look again. 15,551,000. Can you explain how to merge zones again? Just delete a nearby zone by shooting does out of it. And it's just a matter of luck as to where it will go. It could merge with another zone and that's kind of what you're aiming for, right? Maybe one of these days I'll make a uh, guide on it. I'm going to say a 1,072 call the wild hunter. I'm going to... I'm gonna shoot low for you. Beautiful. Dun 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 dun. Another two bite the dust. Oh! He just wants to run me over. 182 and 181, eh? Um, it will at some point, Bebop. It will be coming at some point, I promise. There's a five. There's a five. Beautiful. Love to see it. That is kill 1590. I'm not sure, uh, was that? I'm not sure if I did. I don't think I did. Yeah, a lot of them do score around their ham. It's a pretty scommon, uh, scommon? Common score range. I get a lot that score around there as well. The Great One Fallow looks so good, they do. No HM? Uh, no, we're doing HM. We're pretty far into HM, in fact. Only one herd. Where's the herd that normally has a buck? That we can shoot. It's missing. The herd's missing. Finally. No buck still, though. Something happened to this zone. It's not getting its bucks back. I don't know what to do. Should you shoot the solos? If you're doing herd management, yes, you will need to manage down the solos. If you're not doing herd management, you don't have to shoot solos if you don't want to. Because uh, they can be very annoying to try and keep track of. Nice, we got our bucks back. Wait, is that a third? But <laughs> we got three here. Oh my gosh, so shooting that doe worked. It got an extra buck here. Holy. Well, there it is, guys. That zone's always had two. And I shot a doe there last run for two does. And uh, one of our bucks swapped with it. That's probably why we had less at one of the other zones. Now, the question is, will it stay? I don't know if it'll stay that way. Usually, it only does that for like one or two runs. We'll see if it stays. I hope it does. Because if we could get three right here, that'd be crazy. 
That would be absurd. Nice, YGB. No, Cody, I didn't see. If I'm being honest, man, I don't really watch uh, Call of the Wild content. So if it's not posted in a Discord, I don't see it. The only time I see like what trophies other creators get is if they post it in the official Discord if they or if they post it in my Discord. Because uh, I don't really watch Call of the Wild videos. I already make so much Call of the Wild content that I don't really feel like watching other people's videos on Call of the Wild at the end of the day. Because I'm typically too busy working on my own content. Big Boy 5, nice. Big Boy 5. I mean, technically you're not wrong, CJ. I have to watch my own videos to make sure I didn't mess up on editing. Wait, how did the second shot not hit good? I'm kind of shocked the second one was bad. First one, it was because he moved. Second one... Second one makes no sense, though. How did the second shot not hit vitals? Crazy. It's whatever, though. There's that mail. Small mail. What animal in Call of the Wild would I want to be a great one? Ooh, there's a lot of them. I would say number one is probably either mule deer or black tail deer. I want both of those. And then I also want both of the elk species. I want the Cape Buffalo, the lion. A lot of cool ones, man. A lot of cool ones. Yeah, lion would be awesome. It'd be so good. And uh, this is going to be probably a controversial pick. Because I know not too many people have ever really requested this one, but... I personally feel like Sika Deer would be an awesome great one. Like, is it just me or would Sika Deer actually be a really cool great one? Do it, Zaki. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go through the pain of that, go for it. Because that will not be an easy grind, I can tell you that. Now we go search for that uh, diamond. Since I reset the time twice, his tracks are not going to show up, so we just got to get lucky and find him. He went off in this direction, so... Shouldn't be too far away from here. Gotta be over in this area. Let's see if uh, El Pupper can find it. No track found. Wow. Crazy. It couldn't have ran too far. Saltwater Croc would be hard to make great one. No, I think they could easily make a great one out of it. I mean, look what they did with the bears. With the bears, they made them uh, really cool. It was on the side. That's That doesn't exactly tell me where to look. <laughs> on the side doesn't tell me too much. It could not have gone far, though. Because it ran back through these trees right here. So 
So it's got to be over in this area. The question is, did it turn at all? We're only going to drive around for like a couple minutes, and if I don't find it, we're just going to leave it. It's whatever. If this was non-HM, I'd be a little bit more uh, concerned about not finding it, but... If we don't find it, it is what it is. But I'd really like to know why that second shot didn't hit vitals. I would really like to know, so... I'd like to find it, if possible. Alright. It is what it is. As popular as Savannah is, it deserves a great one, especially if Africa 2.0 is a possibility. Yeah, I'd like to see Verhonga get a great one. It definitely deserves it, for sure. It's a great map. It is a great map, for sure, man. How long is an average fallow grind for great ones? Ah, uh, between 500 and 1500 is the average I've seen. But uh, just, you know, keep in mind that's just the average. It can definitely take longer or it could be quicker. But on average, it's between 500 and 1500 from what I've seen. Oh, it is tragic. Yeah, this has been a really good area for me as well. I've had three of my great ones spawn at these two zones. Uh, two at this one, one at this one. So I'm really hoping that maybe we can get one to pop up here again. This zone just seems insane for them. He's hiding. No. We need an Amazon Rainforest Reserve. That would be pretty cool, man. That'd be pretty awesome. I'd like to see that for sure. One more kill and we'll be at 1600. My gosh. Uh, yeah, fake retro. They try to keep it to where it's not DLC. Great one, Roos, I would love. Um, believe it or not, I would not like a great one, Roos, and I'll tell you why. Because grinding Roos here is really annoying. It would not be a fun grind, I don't think. Roos are very weird. In the fact that the only way to efficiently hunt them is feed zones. And there's only like one spot on the map where there's a lot of feed zones for them. A Rusa Great One grind would not be super fun. Because their drink zones are at nighttime. And they're always late to their drink zones. Four bucks? What the? Well, no way, bro. What? Four bucks here? That's insane. Ma'am, I'm so sorry. You know, you got in the way. It had to happen. It had to happen. Yeah, it's crazy that there's that many bucks in that zone, dude. That's insanity. My gosh. No, no, no. Don't float. I don't like floaters. That is crazy. That's so many. So many bucks in one area.
Red Fox would be a horrible great one. Grind, it would not be fun. It definitely wouldn't be super fun. Though, with Australia being a thing now, I don't think it would be as bad as it used to be. Where do I think the next reserve is going to be? Not a clue, man. I'm hoping it'll be like Africa 2.0 or maybe a Texas Game Ranch or British Columbia. That's kind of what I'm hoping out of the next map. I know a lot of people want an Asia map, so that'd be kind of sick as well. Only two here. Coyote rework would be nice. It would, dude. It'd be great. Would love to see that for sure. It desperately needs a rework. Coyotes kind of look terrible. Not going to lie. They kind of look terrible. Hello, Mr. Fallow Buck. Step out, please. Thank you. Medved could use a rework, too. They already kind of reworked Medved once. I don't think it's going to get any more reworks, man. I think they've already done what they wanted to do with it. Where's the other herd? Come on! Don't be stubborn. There he is. There he is. Yeah, we've had two super rares on this grind alone, which is pretty crazy, honestly. Ma'am, why would you get in the way like that? Ah, oh, that was awful. That was garbage shots right there. What was I doing? Nice, Jackson. Yes, color, you can. There's nothing that says you can't, you know? What backfill do I hope for SRP? To be honest, at this point, I don't know. I don't know what I would want. I mean... I'm sure this won't happen because they're already on so many maps, but... Maybe Whitetail on SRP would fit. I think it would fit the map. Yeah, you missed everything as always, Jebba. Gosh, Jebba, jeez. Missing everything, man. There's not been anything there in ages. I think we'll just skip out on it. Oh, I like the Gray Fox better as well. They're both really good. 
They're both really good, but I think the Gray Fox is the cooler one for sure. I wonder, could I set up over there? That's about 260 away. There's a five. Nice, we got three of them. Holy dude. That's so crazy that we have so many of them here. Hey, <laughs> yeah, Jebba. <laughs> Boom. Diamond boy. You have to shoot down all the zones you aren't grinding for HM to work. Yes. Um, for it to work to its max potential, at least. It can work with only, like, half your zones shot down, right? But it's not going to work as good. You'll be seeing diamonds way less often than if you had everything managed down. Do Pyfellow score at the top of their estimate? No, they score in the middle somewhere. They fixed the uh, scoring for rares this update. They should score just like somewhere random inside of the estimate. One thousand six hundred and twelve kills. Who first used herd management? Believe it or not. It was Jaxy Beard and Flinter like four plus years ago. I think it was over four years ago, yeah. Like over four years ago, Jaxy Beard and Flinter discovered it. Um, Flinter stopped using it because he didn't like that it made stuff spawn more often, right? Uh, Jaxy continued using it and tried to like uh, learn more about it. And then it was like maybe a year ago, a little bit over a year ago probably, where it started becoming used a little bit more widely. That was kind of when people started re-emerging re uh, the method a little bit more. And then after a while, more and more people started using it. And inevitably, everybody started seeing more people using it and they're like, oh my gosh, what are they doing? Like. They're getting so many trophies, and so it just became more and more popular. Can you still get Call of the Wild free? No, I believe the free week is done. When did I get my second super rare? Uh, the day that I premiered the video of the, of the first super rare. We got it on stream. Would recommend checking out that live stream if you haven't. <laughs> Sounds about right, Zacky. Okay. Come on, herd. Show up. <laughs> Finally. They love to take their sweet time, man. They know that I'm trying to do these runs quickly. They know it, man. They know it.
killed my first time in Fallow. Nice, Mitchell. That's awesome. Countless, thank you for the super chat, dude. What's your opinion on a map from Norway? Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't know too much about what species could be on Norway. Um, I really like the Norway map that uh, Call of the Wild the Angler has. Uh, but obviously that's fishing. But I, if it's as cool as the uh, of the Angler's rendition of Norway, I think it would be a cool map. What kind of HM are you using? I mean, I'm using HM. There's, is there multiple kinds of HM? I don't think so. I think it's all just herd management. You know, we could probably abandon that zone. I haven't seen anything there in ages. How about moose, Tragic? How about moose? I don't feel like wishing bears upon you. I mean, I guess technically when you think about it, everybody does their own version of herd management because everybody does it a little bit different. My gosh, three deer down. Nah, Eli, we won't. Now nah, I already told you guys the condition for going back to bears now. I don't like bears. I don't have fun playing the game when I'm hunting bears. So the only time I'm going back is when I get all the fallow combos that I want. Like, I gotta get a few of the combinations I want before I'll ever consider going back to bears. Cause why would I do something I don't enjoy? That would just make it just not fun to play. And I don't want to ruin my enjoyment for grinding. You liked bears for like a week last time? Yeah, I lasted about a week of grinding bears before I was like, okay, I hate this. <laughs> One of those things, right? You finally get them working. And you're like, okay, bears aren't too bad if you can get things like situated properly. But then you run into an 8,000 kill grind and you're like, I never want to see a bear again in my life. I wouldn't wish that grind on my worst enemy. Hey, A Rod, how's it going, dude? Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing good. Let's pop that dough. Um, and also, you know what? Screw it. Let's pop that dough as well. I want to see if I can get some of the bucks to swap with these like we did that other zone. Sadly, no, Stumpy, there isn't. There's no cross-platform for Call of the Wild as it was uh, designed without it. And it would just be too difficult and expensive for them to add it to the game. Unfortunately. Two oh one, not a bad buck. Is the bear great one the only great one I don't have? Yes, it's the only one I'm missing currently. We've got all the others. Oh, Call the Wild VR would be insane. Could you imagine uh, hunting in VR? Oh my gosh, it'd be so good. Now that would definitely be something that would make me get a VR headset. If they did Call of the Wild in VR, oof, you already know I'd be all over that. That'd be so good. 
Like, that would just be so good. There's a five. I don't think he's gonna make it, but we'll shoot him with the right gun just in case. That does not look like a dime, though. Doesn't look like it. I wouldn't think it'd be too hard to implement. It's very expensive, actually. Um, believe it or not, implementing cross-platform requires cooperation with Microsoft, Sony, and obviously, like, Steam as well. And Epic Games, like, they'd have to get cooperation from each company. They'd have to essentially rework a lot of the stuff in the game to make it cross-compatible with each platform, because each platform has different, like, different, uh... Little things here and there. Not to mention, there's people on PC that mod the game. So, it would make it so... That would probably cause, like, issues compatibility-wise. And as far as I've heard, it takes over a year to add cross-platform to a game. And usually millions of dollars. But I just don't think it's feasibly possible. Like, there's a lot of stuff. You gotta make sure that everything is... Working the same way on all platforms at all times. Yeah, third party companies too, yeah. Like honestly, I don't know too much of the fine details of like the reasonings that some things are not doable. I just know that I've heard from like different developers for different games say that it takes like literally years of development and millions of dollars to do cross-platform. Oh, you meant VR. Got you. You got you. Sorry, we were talking about both, so I uh, I just assumed you were talking about cross-platform. Uh, VR? I don't know. I actually don't know much about VR. I have not played any VR myself. I'm not sure. Plus the update would be like 100 gigs. It'd be crazy. That's for sure. It would be ridiculous. 100%. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a... We got two little puny twos here. Oh my gosh. You know what? Let's leave them here for a run or two. I, I want to see what having those two puny fellers on the map is going to do to our diamond ratio. Let's leave them for a little bit. Uh, yes, Brain, it is my full-time job. What do you recommend for Moose HM or no HM? No HM or partial HM, Tragic. Full HM on Moose takes so long to get to a good point. I would recommend doing partial at the most. One. One shootable here. Is Spirit a rare fur type for brown bears? No, it's not. That is a uncommon, I believe. Potentially even just a common. Why did I fast travel over and claim? I need to reset the time to get the other two here. What am I doing? There they are. Boom.
Yeah, I heard about that, uh, Zaki. I heard about that. I haven't seen it myself, though. Do I ever get tired of the game? Sometimes, but not very often. Usually, as long as I'm grinding for great ones, I'm not too tired of it ever. It's all about setting goals for yourself, right? And doing YouTube definitely helps keep me interested. Spawn my great one after 2350 kills. Jeez, dude, that's crazy. Congrats, though. That's crazy. Long grind for sure, man. What is my favorite trophy that I have? Uh, probably. I don't know, the super rare albino fallow is probably one of my favorites. It's gotta be. Um, I also like my two-tone great one moose. My Irish rack fallow great one. My mela pheasant. I got a lot that I like. To be honest, it's so hard for me to choose a favorite. I, I usually never know exactly what my favorite is because it, it switches so often. Boop. Thank you for turning, sir. Does the angler have a version of a great one? Not really. Um, it's got legendary fish, but they work way different than great ones. In the fact that it's a guaranteed spawn. Like, it's guaranteed to be on the map at all times. And once somebody finds where it is, everybody can go there and catch it. So they don't really have a, an equivalent to great ones, right? I know, right, A-Rod? That's what I was hoping for. Pop in the dough so that he would turn and maybe in the process. Oh my gosh, another. Bro. All these came back tiny. Uh, but I love this zone. Do I abandon this zone because of all these small males? That is the question. Do I? I don't know. Actually, I got an idea. Oh my gosh. I can... Let's delete these terrible zones on the end. Let's do it. Why didn't I think about that before? There's like two to three bucks in this terrible zone right here. And they're bigger than the ones here. I can totally delete that zone over there. And potentially get... A much nicer zone to grind. Oh my gosh. That's crazy, man. And level 4 fallow make diamond. Uh, yes they can. I've got a couple of them, actually. Okay, we got a tent available. Let's run up there. Uh, what's quicker? This is probably quicker. Oh no, Beast, what, what happened, man? That's awesome to hear, Gibby. That's awesome to hear. Glad I can, uh, glad I can make your day better. What map am I on? This is Tiabaroa. Hey, Christopher, how's it going, dude? No! 
Nice, Blue, that's awesome, dude. The Red Deer took 350 Gs, Tristan. That's a super quick grind. 350 is wild, man. That is wild. Thank you, Epic Gamer. I appreciate that, man. It is a rod. It's a great map. I love it. One of my favorites of all time. Easily top three. And no Barbados. <laughs> Literally, like, a bunch of the people in chat right now have great ones. And I don't use face cam because I don't like face cam. Did I miss anything? My phone had to charge. Uh, not anything too crazy, Pirate. A few diamonds, but no great ones, no rares. Nothing like that. Nothing super crazy. Goodbye, little fallow deer. I'm 6,000 in and no red deer yet. Jeez, man. Yeah, I had a couple 6k grinds for them as well. It's rough. It can definitely be rough. Just found a level 3 piebald fallow. Nice, Jeremy. That's awesome, dude. Congrats, man. Congrats. There's that little feller. You know someone who got a great one? Red Deer in 60 to 80 kills. Gosh, I'd do any for, anything for that luck. Been ending Magpie and in Multi for your whole stream without the replay buffer on? Oh no, bro, bro. Rest in pieces, dude. Rest in pieces any potential footage you had. Feels bad. <laughs> oh, man. Ow, bro. Chill the flip-flop out. I didn't, I didn't need that. All right, let's see. We're going to need to smoke some does. Trying to delete this zone. Here it goes. Come on over, ma'am. Where are they going? They're going the other way? No. Unacceptable. Yep, they're going this way. Why? Why? That's just so rude. Faking me out. Faking me out and going the other way. Okay, that should delete the zone. That should delete the zone. Let's hope it goes into a better area. Let's hope we can get it in a much better area than this. There we go. We got rid of those two zones that were really annoying. Please don't spawn in the same spot twice. I'll be a little bit sad if that happens. It shouldn't. I don't think it will. We should get them to move. I'm hoping they move down here. That would be the ideal spot, if possible.
Anything good? Uh, just a few diamonds. Oh no, Cygnus. What, uh, what tipped you off to them cheating? We got anything over here? Nope. Okay, let's plop that back down real quick and we'll reset the time. See if they appear near. We'll leave it here, I guess. Go check down below the lighthouse. Hopefully they didn't pop up in the same spot. I'll be so sad if they did. Because then that will have literally been for nothing. And we'll have to do it all over again. My guess is they got to be somewhere else, though. They got to be, like, over here, but just not showing up yet. Or maybe opposite direction. They can be here or here. Let's go check everything, I tell you. No, Melanie, they don't. They can score anywhere within the uh, score estimate. Oh, no, tragic. That's not good. Those things are so rare, man. So, so rare. Mating call. Probably the solo. We'll go check after, though, just to be sure. It wasn't today, uh, Joanna. It was uh, in a previous stream. Uh, the title's saying that we've got to this grind. Not uh, this stream alone. But during this grind, we've had two super rares. Are the black spots male feral pigs rare? Along with the black old ones? No, neither of those are rare. Joined a random lodge on PlayStation. Guy had three great ones of different species like an hour apart from the same day and a bunch of super rares. What do you mean by a bunch of super rares? Because three great ones shot an hour apart could just be that they were stacking them. Or it could be that they got really lucky. Because I know a few people that will stack their uh, great ones and try to get like multiple species. And then shoot them all at once. That's the thing nowadays. It's so hard to tell who has a cheater lodge and who isn't, right? It's hard to see who's legit and who isn't because stacking and HM can make it look like somebody's cheating when they're not. Definitely tougher than it used to be to identify stuff. Do I have another tent available? I do. Okay. Perfect. Let's go. Oh, definitely, Brobra. Definitely. He'll count 1,629. We uh, just deleted a couple zones. We're trying to find out where they went, hoping they'll get a better spot than the tip of the peninsula. Because <laughs> that was a terrible spot for them to be in. So we're hoping that they will go to a better area. Question is, where? Yeah, true, Brobra, true. Definitely is. There's definitely bigger issues for sure. Or not bigger issues, but like, it's definitely like, it's an issue, right? It's probably the biggest issue the game has, but the percentage of people that do it are still smaller than the percentage that don't. There's that. Okay, I don't think it went over here. I don't think the... I don't think they spawned over here. They probably went over here. Gosh, could you imagine if we got them in that area? That'd be so crazy. Yeah, same, Brobra. 
However, as a, uh, I don't know, as a creator, like, I think the modders hurt people like myself more than anything because, because there are people that mod, people like myself get accused of it all the time, even though I do everything live and literally show how I grind. So that's the biggest adverse effect, I think, of people modding Call of the Wild is makes it so people that aren't modding get accused of it a lot more than what they would otherwise. Yeah, that's not a new zone. Yeah, they, they definitely went over here. 100%. Let's go check right here. They're definitely over there. Oh, it is, Doan? That's crazy, man. What a weird spot to get it. Got a 242 Melafalo, dude. That is insane. That's a giant Melafalo. Congrats, man. That is awesome. Mega congrats, in fact. Okay, that's an old one. Nothing has changed here. What about here? Bro, I swear if they went to the same spot they were at before, I'll be a little sad. This looks the same. These all look the same. They have to be either right here, or they just came back to the exact same spot. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, true, Jeremy, true. And you'd think for most people it would, but some people just are not uh, convinced. There's tracks, but I think that's just our solo. Ah, actually, maybe. Maybe that's more than a solo. Okay. Um, I think we found where they went. Yeah. Is there does here? Buck. Buck. Buck again? Another buck. Uh, did all the solos from the end there just go right here? I think they did. Oh, group of four. Group of four right there. Okay, so they did go right here. That's a much better spot. That is so much better. That is crazy good compared to the old spot. Oh, really, Liz? It looks like that's what they did for me as well. Seems like it's the same for me. Well, let's get this uh, zone implemented into the grind then. No way, bro, bro. No way. You have a mythical albino Roo on your map? Oh my gosh. That's crazy, dude. That's like super crazy. Yeah, this is going to be a much better setup, man. Really, Hunter? You gonna run right in front of me? Dude. Chill, pupper. Chill. Alright, let's try this out. Uh, for the most part, Ray, but there is some, uh, you will occasionally run into it on console, but it's very rare. Like, there's not a lot of people that are able to. Okay. 
Okay, I'm 99% sure that's the one we need to shoot. Let me keep that guy spotted, actually. Is he one of them? We need to find what his uh, zone is. That's our boy right there. Not him. That's him. That's the new buck we need to implement. Beautiful. Anything worth note yet? Not really. Lots of, uh, lots of fours. I think we've had like four or five diamonds today, but no rares or anything like that. Okay. We got that zone implemented into the grind. Gonna be kind of a weird one. You did, bro, bro. Oh, no, man. Oh, no. Feels bad. Feels bad to be a kangaroo in Brober's sights. You know for a fact you're going to get messed up. All right, let's go ahead and... Pop all those. Robra. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. How many level five should I stack? My zones before I shoot down my exterior in solo zones. Um, let me think. It's not a matter of, like, how many you stack, right? It's a matter of, like, just stacking your main zones with fives and then shooting the rest of your zones down to low levels. And then once you once you have all your exterior zones shot down to low levels, that's when you shoot all your fives. It's not a matter of a number of fives you want to stack. It's stack as many as you can in your main zones to try and get... Uh, the other zones shot down faster. Then once they're all shot down, you can kill them off. Oh, and also, guys, I learned a way to uh, get the time to go down quicker for when you're resetting the time, right? I don't think it's doable on console, but on PC, you can do left and right mouse button at the same time, and it'll, like, click it down much faster. Like, I'm clicking both left and right mouse right now, and it's just ripping it down super quick. You use S and click, Flanky? I didn't know S did it. Good to know. Good to know, man. Uh, how are you scared? How did he get scared? You can on console? Oh, you hold down D-pad. Gotcha. Okay. Cole, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. How long have I been playing? I've been playing the game for... How many years at this point? 
Like over six years. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Over six years at this point because I played back in December of 2016 when they did like a special pre release beta. And I've kind of been playing ever since, off and on for a few years, and then more consistently in the recent years. Have I done a face reveal? Yes, I have. I have done a face reveal before. How many hours do I have on the game? 5,800 currently. 5,830-ish, roughly. Look at those little fellers. Still nothing, uh... Nothing new has spawned here. Let's shoot this doe, see if we can get another buck here. How do you move a zone? You delete it by shooting some of the females without using a tripod. Just creating a ton of hunting pressure over top of it. And they will move to a nearby area. But it's impossible to know exactly where they'll go, so you will have to look around. <laughs> oh no, Zaki. Oh no, man, that's the worst. That is the worst, man. Hey, Ender, how's it going, dude? Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Okay, so these two that are 113 to 154, those are the ones we don't shoot. Same for this 146 to 187, and then the two should be easy to remember. My gosh. Are you a solo too? Are these solos? Those have to be solos, so that's the one we shoot. Gotta be the one we shoot. Oh no, Ender, that's not good, man. Sorry to hear that. Don't float away from me, boy. One fifty six, okay. Yeah, that's indeed one we need to pop. What does stacking diamonds do? It makes the rest of your respawns come back as smaller than before. Like on average, they'll come back smaller than they were. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna have to shoot the stuff in that zone. Because already I'm noticing we're not getting our respawns as consistently. Pop those two. Yeah, we're gonna have to go shoot those twos, I think. Which is unfortunate. Uh, no, Tom, it's not. Cole, oh, thank you for the super chat again, man. How do I become a member? With the join button or with the link in chat? Either will work. Oh, no worries, Flanky. No worries, man. Thank you for dropping in, dude. Oh, no. Another small male. 
The small males are still popping up. Why are we suddenly getting all these tiny males, man? Because I haven't seen anything big on the map. We're not losing respawns, so it's not like they're somewhere else. No respawn there. Everything's coming back tiny. Nice, Brian. That's awesome. Oh, hey. We got a respawn back here. That explains where one of them went. Beautiful, we got it. We found where one of them are. Or where one of them was. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to shoot those twos. Because we're not getting enough uh, respawns going, I don't think. Thank you, Taylor. Appreciate it. Who knows, maybe killing all the twos will get us a great one. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if we shoot these three twos and then boom, great one? I just can't believe we had three like small males show up there in two runs. That's wild. Why couldn't that have happened like early on in the grind to where I was still needing to shoot down a bunch of zones? Like at this point, I don't want to shoot down this zone. It just, it's such a good zone that I can't go with uh, losing it. Even though these are some puny males that I would have loved to keep, just didn't show up in a good area. I just don't really have a reason to go back to Red Deer until they add more variation to the Great One Red Deer Spectre. That's the only reason we don't. There's just not enough variety. Oh, hey. There's our respawn right there. Uh, Cole, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. Emotes, extra Discord channel, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it, dude. Is a Mexican blue bobcat rare? Or is a blue Mexican bobcat rare? Yes, it is. That is a rare. Yeah, we could have a great one incoming. We definitely could. It also could just be nothing. You never know. Never know, man. Great one as a solo. Could you imagine? That'd be terrible. Uh, getting a great one as a solo would suck. Oh, we got two here. Already getting more. Yo, count sixteen forty six. Oh, that's not good, Luke. That does not sound good, man. Why is the solo great one bad? Because I may never know that it spawned, right? It could sp it could have spawned in an area that I don't even hunt, you know? That's why a solo great one would be bad. I could go hundreds of kills not even knowing it's on the map. Because I'm not checking, like, uh, the solos. And I haven't shot any solos either, so there should be no reason why one would pop up as a great one. So it just would not be great for, uh, the grind, right? 
It would throw us out of our groove. One ninety nine. Trenton, thank you for uh, renewing your membership, dude. Welcome back. Yeah, Jonah, this is my longest fallow grind yet. I had four grinds in a row that were sub 500, and now we're on a 1,648 kill grind. It was bound to happen eventually. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? Well, supposed for a big rack tonight? Oh, a big rack would be so good. I'd love to see a big rack great one. I know one of these days we'll get it, but uh, I just want it so bad. That's awesome to hear, uh, Gustav. That's awesome to hear, dude. Hello there. One oh eight there. My gosh, tragic. Yikes. One oh eight, man. Ty, thank you for becoming a member as well, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gotta love Florida. Sounds about right, man. You know, there's a reason that, like, Florida is one of the places where a lot of people go to retire. Because it's got the hot weather, it's got the beaches and things like that. Oh my gosh, Brobo with the 27 freaking months. My gosh, Brobra. That's craziness. That is craziness, dude. Let's see if we can get bucks to swap with those does, because it's been a couple runs since we've had a buck there. Hoping this will work. Rover's going crazy. He is. He's going wild. It is, Jeva. Jeez. That's yeah, wild. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. One more reset. If nothing's here, we'll go to the next zone. Yep, nothing. Well, great one grind takes the most kills on average. I believe red deer is on average. I think on average red deer is the longest. It's 97 in Texas right now. Jeez, that's about what it's going to be in Oregon today. I know it's going to be in the 90s. I can't remember exactly how hot. Wasn't it good before? I wanted to get more kills in an hour, Blue Toad. Because uh, I wasn't reaching the kill counts per hour that I wanted. So I deleted a ton of zones and got them to combine to make a more efficient grind. Don't hit me. 
You little sillies. You little sillies. Oh, man. It's 93 there. Jeez. I don't know what it is here. I got the AC on, so it's hard to tell. Got an albino axis steer. Nice, JD. Nice. Oh, way more effective, Blue Toad. Way more effective. Because now I don't have to go to as many places to get the same amount of kills as I could before. I got more bucks per zone now uh, that I can shoot, which is definitely speeding everything up. That's a big boy five. Big boy five. Let's go. What else do we got over here? We got that right there. We're now at 1,655. <laughs> oh, man. We've killed almost 200 fallow today. Just like another 27 kills or so, and we'll be at... 200 on the day and that's with like 30 minutes of trying to find a new zone wow disgusting disgusting just like you you floater wow unbelievable a floater and a troll what did I do to deserve it <laughs> really? You're going to float away again? Ah, man. They love to float, don't they? Wasting money stopping these floaters from floating. Uh, nah, nothing crazy, Gibby. Nothing crazy. How do you swap females with males for zones? You just shoot males out of one, females out of another, and hope that they swap. Uh, typically they only swap for like a run or two, but occasionally they'll stay there for like the rest of the time you're grinding, or at least a longer period of time. It never seems to be like permanent though. But if you notice that zone hasn't had a buck in a while, sometimes shooting a couple does and then killing some bucks from other areas will get a buck back there. Getting some big males. That is indeed a turkey, Johnny. It is indeed turkey. Thank you, Stasis. I know, right, B. Jones? It's like the fallow just have it out for me. But what did I ever do to them besides shoot them a few times? Bro, I'm convinced that herd is not going to show up. You know what it is, what it is. Oh, there's two over there. Nice. Beautiful. 243. Lots of nice 240 plus bucks going up. Ooh, that was a neck shot, I think. Is there any way to refund an in-game item? Sadly, no. There isn't. I wish there was. I'd get rid of so much stuff that I don't use. Like all the tree sands that I thought would be useful. But aren't. <laughs>
Oh no, Grayson. He spawned a tiny level 3 pie bald, so he's getting stacked. So now I have Gerald the level 2 pie and Bob the tiny level 3 solo. Amazing dynamic. Amazing, dude. You love to see it. Pretty much, Johnny. I just wish that there was more trees we could put them on and that they didn't get smoked by beavers so often. Wow. <laughs> Guaranteed troll. And then another level two came back here. A guaranteed troll. That's the second troll this run. And then we had two fours that were around like the same area. Same range of score. So rude. 238. Ah, so rude, man. Hey, Brown Town, how's it going, dude? You got a gold Melacroc. Let's go. Let's freaking go. It might be cool. Um, there's some weird stuff with the uh, memberships. They don't always work the same from one person to another. Oh, gosh. Which one do I shoot? Okay, that one stays. That one... Is that new? Um, if that's new, we don't need to hunt this zone anymore. We got that guy to go smaller than he was before. Yeah. I think we already got this shot down to a lower scoring male than it was previously. Either way, that's great. Oh, really dynamic? Nice. Okay, yeah, that's the new one. That is totally a 130s or lower, I think. We'll leave him. That is indeed our solo. Oh, that's unfortunate, Grayson. It sucks, man. I really badly want to get a Diamond Rusa. They're so tough to get. Guys, I got an idea. Because I so often have to uh, jump out of that tripod, right? And it just slows things down. Um, I think what I'm going to do, we're going to take the easy route here. This way, I don't have to jump in and out of it. This will make time resets quicker here. What the? Oh my. Since when can you place blinds this close to a tent? I can't do that with tripods. Yeah, tripods you can't do that with. Tripods have to be over here. When did this become a thing? Has it always been like this, guys? And I just didn't notice? Because look at... Oh, that's so fast. Oh, that's going to be so easy to... Just boom. Wow, that's going to be crazy quick. When did they add that? Because I am not familiar with that ever being a thing where you could place them this close. That's got to be new. Either that or I just don't use blinds enough to remember it. That's going to be efficient? I know. That's what I'm thinking. Like, that's going to be nasty. In the best way possible.
Oh no, Mr. Hunter. Sad that it trolled you, man. Uh, well, the question is, Blue Blurry, are you managing your entire map or just the zones that you're hunting? Because for herd management, you have to manage down every single zone on your map except for the ones that you're hunting mainly. So, like, for me, I've got around 37 different zones. I've got every single one of those managed down except for the zones that I hunt. And right now, I'm only hunting one, two, three, four, five... Six, and then seven. The rest of the map is managed down. So is that what you're doing, or? Or are you just managing the ones that you've been hunting? The entire map? How many zones do you have? Because if you've got the whole map managed down and you're doing, like, and your herd management is like pretty far along, there should be no reason why you wouldn't be getting them. Ah! 15 zones in Medved. Okay, that's why. That's why, man. If you're doing Medved Moose, there's over a hundred zones for Moose. You're missing so many of your zones. That's why you're not getting diamonds in your herd management grind. There's over a hundred zones for Moose, so... You got a lot of zones to find. The thing about Moose is a lot of them get there late, so... There's gonna be so many times where uh, you'll go through an area and might not see anything. And then next time you go through there, you might see something. Um, moose are a tough one. Moose are a very tough one to get situated and managed down. That's a good number, Mr. Hunter. That's a, that's a crazy amount of zones. I think I've got like 70-ish zones for uh, Fallow as well. Or not Fallow. Uh, Whitetail as well. I think I have like 71. Yeah, no problem, Blue. Hopefully it'll help you out, man. Yeah, it takes a uh takes a long time to get everything managed down. There's gonna be a lot of times where you're gonna find lots of new zones and things popping up. Takes a long time with Moose, but it'll get going eventually. The thing to remember about Moose is on Medved, Moose can be at every single inch of water on that map. So any place that there's water, you could potentially have a Moose. Yeah, tragic. Fallow are the easiest to HM by far. Like, it's so quick. Why am I using the wrong ammo? Uh, because we're doing a great one grind and I'm, I'm pretty much just after speed. Like, all I care about is being as fast as I possibly can. So I'm not worried about getting full integrity on something that isn't going to make diamond. If it's going to make diamond, then I will shoot it with the 308. But for everything else, they just get popped with the 300 Magnum to take them down quickly so I don't have to track them if I make a bad shot. Oh, this is going to be so efficient. Look at that. Just boom. Reset the time. There's our other zone. Ooh, big boy five. That's a big boy five right there. Smoked him. Yeah, that's so efficient. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to see if there's any other zones I can plop the blind up at. Cause that's so much quicker than using a tripod. 
264. Monstrous diamond. What a beauty, man. What a freaking beauty. How long does it take for fives to start showing up after the Great One spawn? I have no idea, man. Uh, there's no way to predict that. I've seen the effects of like a Great One being on your map having a wide variety of different things that they've done to like the rest of the respawns. I don't think there really is an answer to that question, to be honest. Nineteen. Now, if you're asking, like, after you killed the Great One, um, I have no idea how long it would take for you to get more fives on your map because I don't know, like, how far you've managed your map, right? So, I don't think there really is a way to predict it. Don't think I'm going to do any HM for Moose. I want it to be kind of fast. Yeah, Moose HM is not fun. I'm not a fan of it. It was definitely my least favorite HM grind I've ever done. And I didn't even get it managed super heavily. I only got it partially managed. Steven, thank you for the super chat, man. How's it going? It's going good. It's going really good. Having some fun. Kind of uh, reorganizing some of our zones on the map. We deleted a few of them, trying to get them to go to better locations. And I think we got it to a pretty phenomenal state. I'm happy with it. That zone is missing. Yes, Johnny. I would say bears are easier to herd manage, um, but they're not more fun to hunt, I would say. But it is easier to herd manage bears, I would say. It definitely didn't take as long as moose did. And I think that's just because there's way less bears than there is moose. So it happens faster, even though they're kind of annoying. They're definitely not as annoying as moose for HM, because with moose, there's like so many zones. There's so many zones you got to find. But with bears, like, if you're hunting SRP, you kind of know the areas they're going to be. With moose, you're always searching for them. Oh, definitely A-Rod. That's the biggest issue with bears is the fact they drink at night and they're late to their zones. Um, If they weren't so freaking late to their zones, I would not mind hunting them as much. And if it was in the daytime. Those two things would make me love the grind more. Nothing here. In my opinion, what is the best DLC to start out with? I mean, there's a lot of DLC that are good. I would recommend checking out the beginner's guide that I put out recently. Uh, because in that guide... I kind of talk about the DLC that I recommend. I don't remember exactly which ones I recommended off the top of my head. Um, I know that I looked over the entire DLC list, list and tried to figure out which ones would be most useful to a new player. So I would recommend checking that out if you haven't. How many kills am I at? 1,674. Another five, probably a troll. Probably a troll, but we'll see. Oh, this setup's so good. Oh, that's so nice to have the blind here instead. Because it's so wide open that I don't need to be elevated. This is just gold. 
This is amazing. Love to see it, man. Trenton, thank you for the super chat, dude. Flintrin, you got me into the game. Thanks for the great content. Hey, no problem, man. Always happy to be making content, and I'm glad that you enjoy it. And Briar, thank you for the super chat as well. Got a fallow with a 262 low estimate. That's going to be a giant. That That's going to be big rack, most likely. Hopefully it ends up being a 270, man. Could you imagine if it's a 270? Oof, that'd be so cool. How many great one fallow am I going for? Um, I don't think I've got a specific number set on it. I think it's just until we get the combinations I want. I, I want to get the saw blade rack with like a few different fur types. And then I want to get fabled mocha with the big rack and the uh, saw blade rack. So we'll see how long that takes, but... I can definitely see myself grinding a lot of these. They're just too much fun. They're too much fun compared to other great ones. Oh, <laughs> yes, Aside from having to reset the time six million times just to get a herd in here. But that's with any species, to be honest. It's like, I don't have to spend all the money resetting time, but if I want efficiency, kind of have to. There's the little feller right there. What does herd management mean? So herd management is a grinding method where essentially you leave the small males on your map and only shoot the larger ones. And by doing that, you get larger respawns on average. Got two great one fallow in one day. Is that rare? Uh, yeah, that's rare. Anytime you get more than one great one in a day, that would be a rare thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, Thunder. How's it going? You don't need to spam, man. You don't need to spam, Thunder. You just got to say hi and I'll, and I'll say hi back. There we go. How low did you shoot your solos down? Did you shoot level three solos? I shot most of my solos to be small threes or twos, but there's a few where I left them as a big two if it was a trouble, like a troublesome buck that was just not giving me what I needed. Two bucks. Okay, honestly, having two bucks here is probably better than four. Just because... It can be really hard to kill more than two out of a zone. Um, you're probably just gonna have you're probably just having a rough grind, Trenton. Uh right now I'm on a 1683 kill grind, and I'm using it to a pretty extreme level. Not like as extreme as you could possibly get, but I've got a pretty good little uh, HM going, averaging a diamond every like 15 to 20 kills. And yeah, I'm on a 1,683 kill grind. It just happens, man. RNG is wild sometimes. You're probably just getting a uh, rough grind. One of the inevitable things of grinding, especially if you do it a lot. Dude, the blind is clutch in this area. I can't get over that. I can't get over how clutch this blind is. Okay, nothing over there. I'm not going to worry about it.
No, Sonaldo, we have not got great one number five yet. We have, like, done a bunch of, like, rearranging our grind, though. Like, uh, deleting a few zones, trying to get them to move to other places. Uh, we've got a few zones to combine now to make an even more efficient grind than we had before. But no, we have not got another great one yet. We're at 1,685 kills. Hey, there's a five. Uh, it is over a thousand kills. We're currently at 1,685. I'm on a 2.5k grind for Fallow. Unfortunate, uh, games here. That's unfortunate. But it happens, man. It happens. Always a few rough ones here. Oh, you thought I said 685. Gotcha. That makes sense. I kind of figured that was probably what it was. Ah, another troll. Ah, we're on a bad streak. Most of our recent fives have been trolls. I think three of the last five have been a troll. Can you start HM halfway through your grind, like another finishing your run, go through the coast, just manage all the time? Yeah, you can. You can start HM at any time. It can be started at any point in a grind. She's doing good, uh, Lep. You're calling it 1954? Maybe. I mean, if I go long enough today, maybe we can hit that number. The day alone. Whoa! What? Oh my gosh, we got a brand new herd! Like, brand new! That's not one I deleted. That's a brand new herd. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Is Oh my gosh, I think I know. I know what happened. I'm missing two bucks from this zone. And they haven't been there in... Probably a day. I've been missing two bucks from this herd for like a day now. I bet they combined with a bunch of those does I've been killing to delete zones, and they created one here. Honestly, though, that's the best thing that could have happened. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And then there's a two. Okay, that's that's one of the twos from here, probably. Wow. Or no, it wouldn't, wouldn't have been one of the twos from here. But still, that's good. That's really good. So yeah, that's one of the things I was talking about earlier. Sometimes shooting does will create brand new zones. And then you may have a herd like that that you don't even know exists. That's crazy good though. That's like best case scenario to be honest. I couldn't ask for anything more. That is so good. This is gonna ramp up our efficiency times 10. Holy. We've been getting so lucky recently with uh, the placements of zones after I've deleted them. Wow, man. That's awesome. That is super awesome. You're calling 1700? Maybe. Blake, sir. Thank you for the eight months, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. Yeah, this is miles better already. Look how quickly we just bounced between those two zones and killed five deer. Wow. This is crazy. If I can just get a few zones that are super efficient like that. Oh my gosh, that's going to be nasty. 
It's gonna be so good. Holy. Good luck, Sky. Hopefully you get something good. It's been good, Blakester. It's been really good. Been having a lot of fun with uh, messing with the zones a little bit. We deleted the zones down here and got one to move here, and then we managed down the last buck that was a part of it. Um, I deleted this zone last night when I was grinding off stream, and we got it to move here. So now there's two herds here. And then I deleted two zones from right here. One of them came back to the same spot, but the other one ended up going down to here. So we've overall like doubled our efficiency. Okay, not doubled, but we have gone up to um, like 80 plus an hour. It was good, Levi. The fourth was awesome. It was an awesome 4th of July. Big boy there. Could be a dime four. Another two down. We're about to hit 1,700. Oh, man. Five right there. Probably a troll. Those ones always troll me. I got a feeling it's going to be a troll. How do you delete zones? With hunting pressure, uh, GT. Hunting pressure deletes them, so I just shot does until there was so much hunting pressure it deleted the zone. Just make sure you don't shoot a zone down to less than two animals or else they will not respawn there. I mean, if you wanted to, though, you could totally just like purge an entire herd and it would have the same effect. It's just you wouldn't be able to guarantee that it'll come back with the same amount of bucks and does, I guess. A lot of trolls equals a great one. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, that's like, what? Four trolls in the last uh, six level fives. Hey, that's a five that's going to make it. That one will definitely make it. And they were actually at their zone without me having to reset the time a bunch. Amazing. No, Jakers, they don't. Great one spawn rates are the same across all platforms. There's absolutely no differences in uh, animal spawning from PC to console. They should be the same universally. My gosh, double box over there too. Let's go. Watch it troll because I said that. It could. I mean, I guess it could. This rack has a chance of trolling, but it's so small it usually doesn't. Yeah, 254. Boom, another dime. Finally. That was quite a dry streak. That was quite a dry streak there. Could you please explain merging herds? I mean, it's just a matter of deleting a zone with hunting pressure and hoping it goes to the same zone you have another herd in. That's really all there is to it. So, for example, if I delete this zone right here, there's a chance it'll come back to the same spot, but there's also a more likely chance that it'll go to, like, a nearby area, right? So, if I delete this zone, it could merge with this herd over here, or it could come back to the same spot, or it could even create a brand new zone in the general vicinity. If that makes sense. Big boy four again. Oh man. 
Hold on, let's see if we can do the uh, the ground blind here. If we can do the ground blind here, that'll be great. Let's see if we can get the waterfowl blind working out good here. Please. <laughs> yes! Oh, we're going to have to pick it up, I think. Come on, if I can get this to work, this is going to be insane. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh, this is about to get nasty. Look at that. Just boom, boom. My gosh. This better be the craziest grind ever. I spooked him, but it's whatever. Kill number 1700. It definitely could get smoked for sure, Johnny. It could. I'm gonna hope it doesn't, but it could. You're right. Let's just hope that that will stay there. <laughs> if it does, that'll be crazy. I'm so glad we discovered that those uh, waterfowl blinds can be placed closer to a tent than regular blinds and stands. Random two here. What is up with this zone and coming back as small males? What's up with that, man? Ninety-seven. Small male. 1,702. Oh, man. I don't think so, Johnny. I haven't shot any solos in, like, over a week. Or I guess almost a week, not over a week. It's been a long time since I've shot a solo. Um, I already did a YouTube short, so I don't know if I'll do a full video, Levi. We'll see, though. No, we're using herd management sleepwalking. We are. We are indeed using it. Two. Three. Not sure what that is, uh, A-Rod. Not sure what that stands for. It's a very fun grind, Joan. I love it, too. It's awesome. 
It's Marvel? No, I don't, then. Yeah, I've never really been into Marvel, no. Not my thing. I don't know, Drawn. I guess it's just like... I guess it's just like my high competitiveness. Because for me, like, I've always been very... Gravitated towards the best thing in any game and wanting to get as much of it or as good at it as I possibly can in whatever I play That combined with the adrenaline rush of a great one or a super rare and Making content on the game as well like all that type of stuff combines to make me not get burnt out Because I get to share all these moments with you. So it's not like I'm just playing for me I'm playing for you guys to watch as well and, uh, the adrenaline rush of a uh, great one is just next to none. And again, the competitiveness, it just, it drives me to do this more. I guess competitiveness isn't the, like, correct word. It's more of, like, being a completionist. Like, I gotta get, I gotta go for them all. I gotta get, like, the best of the best of everything. I gotta get all the combinations that I'm targeting that I really want. And it keeps me motivated. Astro Plays, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Hundred twenty-five kills into my fallow grind. No diamond. Any advice? Prioritize shooting the largest males out of each group. That'll help you get more diamonds if you don't want to do like full herd management. If you don't mind doing full herd management, I recommend that. As it's going to be the best way to get diamonds. Holy. You think they'll add new multi mounts? I'm sure eventually. They seem to add them with every new map. And even occasionally outside of maps. They did that bison one just out of nowhere. So I'm sure they'll add more in the future. I'd love to see more. Personally, I don't know about you guys, but I'd like to see an update that's just focused on multi mounts. I personally think that'd be a really cool thing. Like, you know how we get weapon packs every once in a while? What if instead of a weapon pack, they did just like an update focus on multi-mounts? I think that'd be such a cool concept. And it would give us more of like what we've been wanting. I think it would be a huge hit. I think everybody would love that. And then like if they're worried about like a, a dip in revenue, right, from not doing a weapon pack, they could maybe do like a skin pack along with a bunch of the multi mounts, right? So they'd still make a little money off of it. I think that would make sense because obviously, like, they wouldn't make money off of doing multi mounts, I don't think. Because I doubt they would pay wallet. So they could do like a couple skin packs along with it so that they'd have something to sell as well. You need a bigger lodge? Yeah. We definitely need more lodges, I'd say. Honestly, I think a... Oh my gosh, that's a good idea, actually, Travic. Tragic. Now that you mentioned that, that just got me thinking. Brand new lodge, and then, like, multi-mounts with it, right? That would be crazy. Because everybody wants a new lodge. I see that request so often. It'd be so good. Mm. 
Not a great shot. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, like that'd be good. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I heard about that, Eli. Yeah, definitely, A-Rod. A giant lodge that's just got room for everything. That'd be great. Ben, please don't spam. You don't need to say the same message that many times. What gun do I recommend to down fallow really quick? Um, if you don't care about getting full, like, harvest value on them, like, if you don't care about getting the full metal score, then the 300 is amazing. That's what I use to down all the non-diamonds. Uh, if you want to get full score, though, 7mm bolt action from the Hunter Power Pack is probably your best bet. Either that or the 303, which actually comes with Tiabaroa, so 303 is a good option for taking them down quickly as well. Um, 308 AR is the best option in terms of speed and power balance. Fully custom lodges would be awesome. Oh my gosh, it would. Yes. Be so good. Like, a, oh my gosh, yes. Like modular lodges. Could you imagine if like one day we see an announcement and it's like the modular update or the modular, holy gosh, I can't speak. The modular lodge update is around the corner. Could you imagine like how excited the community would get if that was an announcement we woke up to one day? The modular lodge update and it explains like uh, like maybe your lodge starts out with a certain amount of free plaques you can put up right and then you can pay in-game currency like maybe a hundred credits for a small amount like 500 for a medium amount maybe extra small ones are free and maybe a large amount is like a thousand currency and an XL mount is like 2,000 currency and you can place them anywhere in the lodge. Could you imagine how insane that would be? Oh my gosh, that'd be so good. You'd use all your money? I would too, Tragic. Like, I'd be dumping so much of my currency into customizing a lodge. Like, oh my gosh, that'd be so good. And I mean, there's games that have done that before. Prehistoric Hunt has a completely customizable trophy lodge where you get to put the mounts wherever you want them. Ty, thank you for the super chat. Just got a pieball diamond fallow. First ever super rare scored top of the estimate. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congrats, man. That's super cool. We need Euro mounts? Yeah, I hear a lot of people saying they want to see Euro mounts. That would also be really cool. Oh gosh, this is going to be the tough part about this now. Clicking on those tents is going to be a pain. You got a great one at 42 kills. That's crazy, Bullet. That's crazy, man. Tis wild, my dude. This run, they're being stubborn, I see. Guess it's just one. It's a pink feral pig rare. Um, yes, that is rare. Song name? Let me find it. Um, it's called Lucky Day by Loving Caliber. This is like the instrumental version. Apparently, there's one that isn't instrumental that has vocals, so apparently there is.
Yeah, I know, Chi. I, I've heard quite a few people say that today. Thoughts on adding trail cams? I'm all for it. I think that'd be great. Trail cams would be really, really cool. Okay, where's the other herd, man? We got some stubborn herds, I see. You don't really like the Hyperion scope? I love it, Tragic. I just like that it doesn't take up all my screen. Like, look how small the rim of the scope is compared to this. And it's more easy to, like, control and get follow-up shots with. I like it a lot. Sorry, ma'am. You're right there, so rest in pieces. <laughs> yeah, I did see that, Luke. That's why I ignored it. When somebody's obviously trolling, I just ignore it. My multiplayer is messed up because it doesn't show how far away people are. From me, do you know... You know why? I have no clue, man. Not sure, man. I usually play with the multiplayer name tags off, so... I don't really have that problem in the first place. One. Two. Three. All right, we got all three here. Boom, boom, boom. What's my favorite tax that I have? To be honest, I have a lot of trophies that I really like, and every single time I get asked the question, um, my answer is different because there's just so many and it's hard to pick one. To be honest, I really don't think I have a favorite favorite. Really depends on the day, like, which one is my favorite. I'm not sure what that is, uh, Trenton. Not 100% sure what that is. I'm assuming it's an animal. Nice, Realme. That's awesome, dude. That's crazy. Absolute giant. Another guaranteed troll! Ah, oh, man. What did we do to deserve the guaranteed trolls? They're everywhere. Oh, man. We need groundhogs. Groundhogs would be cool. It'd be interesting, but they'd be cool. Curious how they would do that. Oh, it's a kind of spear. Got you. Okay. Uh, that'd be interesting. I don't think they would ever add spear hunting, though. Not gonna lie. I don't think they would. Bro. Oh. What the? Okay, that was the dead one. Dude, what's up with this herd? If it comes back without a great one in it, I'll be surprised. Because look at how many times I just reset that with nothing. He wasn't there last run either. There's gotta be a great one there. There's gotta be. Because, like, two of our four Great One Fallow, their herd did not show up for a couple runs, and then when it showed up again, there was a Great One. And a lot of people have said the same thing. Maybe it's about to happen. Maybe we're finally going to get one to show up after... Oh, hey. Where'd you come from, bub?
Where did you come from? Where did you go? To the graveyard, that's what we know. <laughs> uh, how's it going, Ben? How you doing, Ben? Guaranteed trolls are lovely. Maybe they're revving up for a great one. Gosh, yeah, that was, that was a wild time. That first grind was insane. We need beaver and more small game predators. Yeah, that would be nice. Beavers, I definitely want. Uh, squirrels, for sure. Beavers and squirrels are the uh, two small game animals I'd love to see. Any other ones, it's like, eh, I could take it or leave it, you know? I'm not the biggest small game hunter, but I definitely want to see beavers and squirrels eventually. I feel like they're necessities. We need dingoes, definitely. I still don't know why Australia didn't come with dingoes. The big boy four. Big boy four for sure. EJ, how's it going? Welcome back, man. What are dingoes? They're like a wild dog, essentially. Oh, level four dime. Let's go. I thought that one looked a little bit big, but I didn't say anything because I assumed it to just troll like, or not troll, but I, I assumed it to be two thirties, like all of them. That's a big diamond four, actually. We're going to tax him. That's big for a diamond four. My gosh, that is awesome. That is so sick, dude. Is there a way to become a member? Yes, with that link that's in the chat right now. Any great ones? No great one today, but we're at uh, 1,726 kills since the last one, so hopefully it'll be soon. Hopefully it will be soon. You're not a great one. Neither of you are. Unacceptable. That's right. Take your drink so I can easily take you down. Hunter, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Really appreciate it, dude. Just ask them not to troll and there's a great one at your next lake. Okay, I'll do it. Please, don't troll any more fallow deer. Please, I'm saying please very nicely. Do not troll me no more. Please. Please don't. I beg you. <laughs> I beg you, man. What herd are you from? He's from one of these close herds, I think. He's got to be. That would be my luck, Johnny. Yeah, it is this herd. Okay. Or maybe it was that one. No, that's a different one. That's a three. Only two. Only two bucks here. Nothing new here, right? Yeah, nothing new. Nothing new. All right, bruh. Thoughts on trucks and call the wild. Um, it would be cool, but I would honestly prefer horses over trucks. Because horses would be a quieter means of transportation.
Hello there. That other herd is still not here, dude. Where's that other herd? Come on. Show us the other herd. Where is it? There it is. Wow, and it's got nothing good in it. Ah, uh, should have known. Should have known it was too good to be true. Hey, chicken, how's it going, dude? Troll again! <laughs> ah. So many trolls. <laughs> ah, it's crazy. Well, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Where do I find the Discord link? Uh, right there in the chat. A few messages below oh your super God, chat. Oh thank you for the super chat once again, dude. Troll, la 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 la. There we go. I might need to move the blinds a little bit just so I can click on the uh, tent easier. Or maybe it's just a matter of needing to place the tent. Uh, last? Love to see it. Double buckaroos. Two forty four. Just a heads up, KA Games, repeating the same thing over again is not going to get your message read. If anything, it's going to get it ignored because it's against the rules to spam repeatedly the same thing over and over again. Because it just makes it tougher for other people to chat. Don't encourage spamming. Don't spam the same thing over and over again. If I miss your message, Wait a few minutes and then say it again, but don't say it like five times in one minute, you know? That's a, it's a little extreme. Come on now. Why no great one? Why no diamonds even? What's up with this, eh? We've had barely any diamonds recently. If it's a solo, then yes, Garrett. If you're shooting solos, then there's going to be a pretty decent chance that a great one could spawn in an undiscovered zone. Because of the way solos work. Hey, Nicholas, how's it going, dude? Alright, later, Johnny. Master of everything, thank you for the... One month, dude. Thank you for everything you do. Keep up the good work. P.S. I think this is really fun watching you suffer on the bear grind. Well, that's just rude, man. But thank you so much. One. And a two. And a three. And a one. And a two. And a one, two, three.
Got him. Music to my ears. <laughs> No, it's not called the wild, but I got a pieball squirrel in my backyard. Nice, dude. I'd, I'd argue that's cooler. In my opinion, that's all. That's definitely cooler. What's easier to grind, moose or whitetail? Whitetail by a long shot. Moose are really annoying to grind. Um, I think Kudu would be a cool one, Trenton, but I'd prefer like a lion or a cape buffalo for a uh, Verhonga great one personally. But yeah, the, a Kudu would definitely be kind of cool. Max, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. I mean, some creators do get mad about people talking about other games in their chat that they're not playing, but I personally don't. I don't see a problem with it. I don't see a problem with, like, talking about stuff that's not even related to gaming in the chat, right? I do it all the time. I mean, there's <laughs> there's at least one day every week where we have a conversation about food in the streams. It always happens. There, There's always at least one stream where we start discussing food. And it's always a blast. Speaking of food, I should probably hop off and get dinner. So we're probably going to go to intermission very shortly. Once we finish this run, we will take like a 20 minute break. 20 or 30 minutes, something like that. Hey now, don't run me over, bro. You either. Chill. Chill with your little your little speedy legs. Elk uh, great one? Yeah, I'd like an elk great one. That would be cool. That would be pretty good in my opinion. How many solo zones for Fallow do you have? Because I have a ton. Oh, I have a bunch as well. There's a lot of solos. For sure. Mule Deer is your next great one. You'd, yeah, I'd like to see Mule Deer as well. That would be a good great one. Let's hope they do something like that. That'd be awesome. That'd be super awesome. No, I don't, Garrett. I don't. Most of the information re relating to, like, uh, rarities of things, I already know. Just from having made, like, thousands of hours worth of content on this game. Like, most of the rarities of things are, like, ingrained into my head. And anytime that I don't know if something's rare, I can just ask you guys in the chat. So, I don't really have a need to, like, use a companion app. Whitman, thank you for the membership. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Nothing there. If I could pick up a, or if I could pick a small game great one, what would I pick? Uh, of small game. I don't know. Let me think. Let me think.
I don't know, to be honest. I'd say out of all the small game, I'd probably go with Red Fox just because they're the least annoying to hunt because of how good they are on Australia. But to be honest, I don't really like the idea of any small game great one. And obviously, I'm not counting birds right now. I'm only talking about small game, not uh, upland birds or waterfowl. All right, anyway, guys, it is break time. So I will be back in about 20 to 30 minutes, give or take a few. And uh, yeah, once I get done with dinner, we'll be back. Hang tight, get a, get a snack, grab something to drink, do whatever you got to do, and we'll be back in 20 to 30.
right, all right. Be patient. I'm back. Gosh. I said give or take a few. Apparently, y'all don't know what give or take a few minutes means. It means little more, little less. How's it going? Hope you're doing good. Hey, Mr. Airhead, how's it going? Hey, Jim. Would have been faster, but we had burritos and we had to cook up the burritos, you know? Because we do like, uh, we crisp them up on the stove, you know? Get them nice and crispy. Because they end up tasting better that way. Uh, we had burritos, Jonah. We had burritos. Only two, eh? Oh gosh, I ran out of breath right there. What the? Dude, what was that stuttery rubber banding I just saw? Oh my gosh, chill out. <laughs> that deer did not want to play. That deer was like, bro, chill. No, because food takes time to cook, you know? Food takes time to cook depending on what you're cooking and when you start cooking it, it could take a while. But yeah, it took a little bit to get it cooking and stuff. Weird concept. I know, right, Caitlin? Who would have thought some food needs to be cooked to eat it? It's crazy. But so true. It's crazy, but it's true. 3.2k kills, no fallow, great one. Sad to hear that, Blake. Hopefully it'll pop soon. Imagine cooking before eating. I know, right? Who does that? Who would ever? What's my favorite great one animal to hunt in whichever one it is? What is your dream version of the animal? Um, favorite great one to hunt is indeed the fallow deer. Dream variation would be a fabled mocha with probably the blade rack. Fabled mocha blade rack would be my dream combination. Or big rack with mocha as well. Both of those I think are kind of equal. They both look good. Welcome back, Pike. How's it going? You cook after you eat. Now that's uh that's the way to do it, man. Yeah. That's the way to do it, bro. Big boy back there. And a little feller there. Nice. Oh, I didn't grab the two that I was standing on. That's why you grab them before you jump into the stand. Don't be scarecrow, guys. Don't be don't be like scarecrow. I don't do things properly, apparently. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't do what scarecrow does. My gosh, Noxus! Noxus coming in with the legendary crow membership. Oh my gosh, dude. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Noxus. You absolute legend, man. That is a lot of support right there. Holy. 
Enjoy all of the perks that come with that, the emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. Come on, man. Where's our where's our blade rack beauty? Give us a beautiful blade rack buck, please. And honestly, at this point, just end this bad streak of uh, getting nothing but trolls to spawn. Oh my gosh, Pike, what? <laughs> Pike always having to one up coming through with the Master Crow membership upgrade. Oh my gosh, Pike, thank you, dude. My gosh, you just. Y'all are just too kind. I don't know what else to say. Y'all are just too kind, man. That's insane. Wow, we got Mr. Mr. Pike with the Master Crow. Noxus and Pike just going crazy. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Just been fishing for you earlier today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Howdy, B. Jones. Sing the Great One song and you'll get one. I don't know. We sung the Great One song a lot when trying to get the bear and it never worked, so. I'm convinced that it stopped working, you know? <laughs> Bro, he tiny. As crazy as this may sound, I'm thinking about trying to get rid of this as a as main grinding zones. So if we get a two in these zones, I'm gonna leave it from now on. I just feel like having to fast travel three times just to pick up three bucks is a bit of a waste of time. Mike, thank you so much for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and... probably try to abandon this entire lake, because I just feel like there's... I just feel like we're wasting time by having to fast travel three times to pick up three deer. Is 727 Red Deer kills with no rares normal? Ah, uh, yeah, that can totally happen. I've had something similar happen before. In fact, I went 1500 without a Whitetail rare once. Oh my gosh, Noxus coming through with the Master Crow upgrade as well. Oh my gosh, man. What is happening? My gosh. We got double Master Crows in the building. Holy dude. Oh my gosh. What is going on? That is just insanity. That's insanity, bro. Holy smokes. Thank you so much. It's to summon a great one? Maybe. Got two bucks over there. I mean, we've been reliably getting two bucks at each of these zones, which is pretty good.
We're so lucky he turned like that. That could have easily missed him and hit a doe. I think a lot of people are misclicking, probably. Seems like a misclick scenario. It'll be in three zones, maybe. Potentially, man, potentially. Uh, yeah, Jonah, that's fine. That's pretty good, man. I don't really gauge my kills on a per day basis, so... I judge mine on a per hour basis, so... Steven, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Where's the link to become a member? It's in the chat right now. So you should be able to click the link in the chat. Uh, there's a link in the description as well. That should also work. And Sky, thank you for becoming a member as well. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. Holy. Wish I could play Call of the Wild, but my game is updating. Ah, gotta love those updates. But it'll be all worth it once it's updated, man. It's a great update. Easily one of the best updates they've ever put out. Just so much fun. Do I have that memorized or what? Well, considering I've had to say it like hundreds of times throughout the last year. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty ingrained into my head at this point. All right, let's pop them and drop them. You just got a melanistic diamond bison. That is awesome, dude. Congrats. That is pretty sick, dude. Pretty sick. Part of me is tempted to try and shoot down some solos to uh, small twos. But uh, I don't know if I want to go through all that again. I don't know if I want to go through that again, so... <laughs> Kind of why I've opted to try and shoot down this lake instead. Am I stacking? No, we don't need to stack anymore. We're past the uh, stacking phase of the grind. Stacking is really only done to get low levels faster. How rare is a Mella Mallard? Pretty rare. They're decently rare for sure. Is grinding aid zones enough? Uh, there's no like correct or wrong amount to grind. If it works for you, then yeah, that's good enough. Biggest thing is just making sure it's good enough for you. When did I get the last super rare? I got it the same day that the video of the first one premiered. We got it on a live stream. Right before the video premiered. It was crazy. It was absolutely wild. Watch the Call of the Wild video. Someone had a great one fell in the sanctuary. Nice, dude. Assuming you're talking about roosters, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Steven, thank you for the super chat, or the uh, membership as well. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Oh, my small males. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. 
Thank you so much. Why are the small males popping up here? I love this zone. Don't, don't small male me. How dare you. Don't think that's a dime. Doesn't look like the right rack. There we go. 1,770 kills. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, man. We are getting far into this grind. Nice, Clay Drew. Yeah, we're at 1,770. And we've all of a sudden, like, hit a dry spell of diamonds as well. I don't know why, but out of nowhere, we're just getting less diamonds than normal. Oh, hey. There you are, sir. No, I don't think it'll be 8,000. I've never seen anybody get 8,000 kills without a great one for Fallow. Not impossible, but it's unlikely that it would be 8K. No, it wasn't piebald. It was a white fur variation. Yeah, just white fur variation. Do I have every great one? I've got all of them except the bear. Bear is the one that has evaded me. Somehow it's evaded me. Sorry, man, but there's no bucks here, so... Going down. Uh, no, Whitman. As far as we know, they shouldn't. Because it, it generates new ones every single time you open your game, so I doubt it would affect your map as a whole. Oh, yeah, well, Red Deer are a different story, Clay. Your Red Deer, they're wild. They're unpredictable. Those Red Deer can be evil. Where's our diamonds? It has been so long since we've had a diamond. It has been a long, long time. Come on, 2.2. Yeah, Jebba. <laughs> Can we leave that? That's probably small enough to leave, not gonna lie. Yeah, let's leave that. I want to manage down this lake and see what we can do with that. Because, like, we just use so many tents here and it's a waste. Such a waste when I could be using all these tents to, like, manage down some of the solos a bit better. But we'll see what we can do. I think we could totally do a grind with maybe just three or four zones. If we get it right, well, technically it'd be two, three, four, five, five zones. We could make it work, maybe. <laughs> uh, where's the diamonds? We're having a CJO type of dry streak. CJO was recently on a really bad dry streak as well. Feels like we're getting the same thing now. 
it probably is nothing but a dry streak, but still, man. It's so weird. It's so weird to go from averaging a diamond every 15 kills to having like two diamonds in the last 150 kills or something crazy like that. Big boy four there. Seventeen seventy five. Maybe the game's just doing its best to make us appreciate the next uh, great one we get. <laughs> yeah, Jebba. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. Feels like everyone's struggling with Fallow now. Ah, they're definitely not, uh, not being as nice as they were. I mean, aside from the two super rares, that was crazy. But it's very odd that we're suddenly getting no dimes. Makes me wonder if we do have a random great one somewhere on the map, but at the same time... I... Don't think there would be. I haven't shot any solos, and we know where all the herds are, so. Should be fine. What do you think the next great one will be? I'm not sure, but I think it's going to be on the Africa map. I think the next one will be a base game map, as always. I feel like it's got to be another Hirsch one. So I'm going to say Euro Bison, Fox, or Boar as the most likely ones. Back down here. Rip, Nathan. Unfortunate, man. I'm sorry to hear that, chicken lover. Hopefully it'll feel better soon, man. Eh, it's close to a dime, but probably not a dime. Two thirty-seven, yeah. Honestly, I think we're probably just on a dry streak. I think it'll kick up again. They usually do. How many kills am I in? 1,779. We are getting deep into this grind. That is for sure. Okay. Boop. And honestly, let's grab this tent real quick. Nice, Marble. That's awesome, dude. I used to make it so they're not spooked anymore, Jordan. Whenever you main menu, it takes all spooked animals out of their spooked state, and then also... Any respawns that you had that weren't at their zones yet will get forced into the zone with their herd. So it just speeds it up a lot. Nicholas, thank you for the super chat, dude. 
I think Fox is going to be the next great one. Definitely could be. I think it's likely. Especially with how good Australia is for them. Though I would absolutely love it if they threw us for a curveball and did a DLC animal like Mule Deer. Oh, that'd be so good. Apparently, Ben, this is the first thing I've seen from you in a while. I, I guess it didn't, man. Two fours, neither dime. Couple good ones though. Like they're they're definitely not bad. <laughs> yeah, Jeva. I don't even have that big of a slow mode on. I think it's got like maybe five seconds slow mode, so like shouldn't take too long to get past it. Oh wow, Ben, that's wild. That is some wild stats there, man. That's crazy. Nothing. Little guy there. Beautiful. How many white tailed diamonds do you stack at the start of a grind? It's not a matter of numbers. It's just a matter of getting as many as you can in your main zones and then shooting down the rest of them to low levels. And then once the rest of your zones are low levels, you shoot all the diamonds out of your main zones. Any great one or super rare, Jonah. Like any great one or super rare. It doesn't matter what it is. I definitely get the most excited over just them in general. One eighty eight. No, like one that I have killed. Oh, you mean like what trophy did I get the most excited for? Uh, I would say. Probably the super rare from the other day. Like that super rare that I got on stream the other day. That that's probably the most excited I've ever been to see a trophy. Cause like just looking at the antlers, I immediately knew it was a super rare. And my gosh, if you haven't seen the reaction, check out today's YouTube short. It was pretty insane. Any great ones? No great ones today. We're at 1,787 kills. Sounded a little quiet for the first super rare. I wonder why, Bebop. I wonder why. Oh, I've done that like three times, JC. I've done that like three times where I killed a four that had a chance to make diamond. And it ended up making it. Done that so many times, man. And that's why I started uh, shooting every single four that has a chance with the uh, 308.
How many diamonds am I currently at in this grind? Let me see. How many have we killed today? I think we've killed like 10 of them today. So I'm at like 102 out of 1,788 kills. So I think we're still actually on par for like what we should be, but let me check the calculator real quick. Okay, so we're averaging a great, or not a great one. We're averaging a diamond every 17 and a half kills. Not the 15 that we were at one point, but hopefully we'll get back up there very, very soon. No, Ben, I haven't. Uh, to be honest, I don't really use social media ever. The only social media I use is I occasionally will like retweet stuff on Twitter. And then obviously I do YouTube and Discord, but that's it. That's like all I ever use. Not much of a social media person nowadays. Not sure, bro. We're probably a little while more. I really want to, like, get things going again here. Because we're on a super bad dry streak of barely any diamonds. So I'm trying to figure stuff out, try to get things going again to where we're getting the normal amount that we were before. You're not a dime. You're not a dime. Nice, Ben. That's awesome, man. Congrats on your first ever great one. Uh, yeah, I could pretty soon, man. I could jump into chat in a little bit. How many kills are we at on the day? Jeez, we're at 311. That's crazy. Three hundred and eleven kills. Mike, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. All right, Brobra for sure. For sure, dude. Do a quick little check over here. Okay, all small males still. Eventually, I should try to shoot that solo down to be smaller. But, like, I don't want to chase solos around, you know? Okay, so we spent about an hour just setting up one of our other zones and also taking a break. So, if we remove one hour for, like, all the random stuff we did. That still brings us to... Four hours, right? So... 311 divided by four. Yeah, so we're still averaging about 80 kills. Like, 77 kills an hour is what we're averaging at the moment. Obviously, like, different hours are going to be different, but 
We're doing pretty good, I'd say. Have I killed a leucistic croc yet? No, I haven't. I've killed an albino one and I've killed a diamond one, but not leucistic. I'd love to though. They're really cool. Nice little gamer. Maybe Bebop, maybe. Maybe it's what we need for the great one. You're right. Might be. It might be the secret method of getting great ones. Chatting with the homies. Hey, that's a five. <laughs> Finally a five again. It looks like it's a guaranteed troll pretty much though. It could make it still. It might be a different rack than what I'm thinking of. Come on, big boy. Be an absolute giant. Come on. You know you wanna. Hey! Wow! I've never had this rack be on a five. This is the one that the fours can make it at. This is the same rack that the diamond fours have. I've never had a five with this. That's actually awesome. Oh my gosh. That's really cool. I mean, it looks the same as the fours, so I'm not going to tax it. I've got a four that's better in terms of score that has the same antlers, but that's still cool. I didn't think he'd make it, but he did. He made it. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely not the prettiest rack they can have. That's for sure. But hey, a dime's a dime. I know, right? I can't believe we finally got one. Holy. Because I'm trying to shoot those down to twos, uh, Blake. The two zones that I used to hunt to that main lake are no longer... They no longer have shootable box. I'm trying to get rid of that lake because I've found that it's just not time efficient. Because I'm only getting one deer per zone, so I have to fast travel like four different times. Just to pick up all of them, you know? And I just feel like that's not a good use of uh, my time grinding. I feel like that wastes time more than anything. So uh, we've uh, we've tried to shoot it down. We've got one zone there still, but the others we have shot down to twos and small threes. Nice, Caleb. That's awesome, dude. Jeez, Parker, that's wild. How many kills am I at and what have your other fallow grinds been? I'm at 1,799. All of my other four fallow grinds where we got a great one were under 500 each. So I guess you could say we're on quite a long grind compared to our others right now. Hey, Zachy, how's it going? None. None. <laughs> Zero is the answer, Zachy. I know, Drippy. It's been a crazy change to go from getting all of them sub 500 to having this insanely long grind 
It's pretty wild. At least the fallow aren't bears, though. Otherwise, I'd dread this entire grind. But with the fallow deer, it's still fun. I'm still having fun, even though we're not getting any great ones. I think it's time to jump in with Brobra. I thought he said he's in voice chat. I don't see him. Well, I suppose let Brobra know that I'm in voice chat. <laughs> yeah, Jeb. <laughs> that sounds like a sounds like a sane, insane mastermind plan to overthrow the the Brobra overlords. Hello, little two. Hello, other little two. How long does one rotation take me? To be honest, I don't know. Um, I don't really keep track of how long a rotation takes. I kind of measure all of my, like, uh, time frames and kill counts in, like, per hour. So I just take a look at how much kills I get per hour. I don't really ever take a look at how much time one run takes me or how much kills I get one in one run. Well, actually, I take that back. I do kind of check out how many kills I get in a run, but... Not in as much detail as I do with uh, kills per hour. I mean, one run couldn't take more than a couple minutes. Probably like five to ten minutes, somewhere in that range. I don't know exactly, but gotta be somewhere around there. Purpose taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. <laughs> All right, so I guess whenever Brobra is done with his bathroom break, he'll be uh, in chat with us. Nice, Caleb. That's awesome, dude. Congrats, man. Congrats, my dude. Loading a great one. Oh, yeah. I hope so. I sure hope so. Jeez, Johnny Boom Dude. That's crazy, man. That's a huge estimate. What did it uh, end up scoring? Hopefully it scored pretty high with that estimate. How much longer will I stream? At least a couple more hours. I am in a mega grinding mood at the moment, so... We're going wild with the grinding. About to shit a 249 to 290. Hopefully it'll be a big one, Langley. Hopefully it'll be a big one. Your biggest foul is 268. That is a pretty big one. That's a good fallow. I've noticed that fallow rarely get above 267. Yes, I am indeed, Brobra. I am indeed. I joined in and I was like, where's Brobra? And everybody was like, he's pooping or something like that. So, <laughs> or at least that's what Jebba alluded to, so I was like, ah, I'm assuming that Brobra will, uh, 
get here whenever he's done. <laughs> the exact words of Jebba was, he's taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's got to be one of the best ways to say going to the bathroom that I've ever heard. Jebba's a legend. <laughs> Oh, you were setting up an ant trap. Got you. Ah, same thing. Bathroom break, setting up an ant trap. Same difference. Hey, Wazmuth, how's it going, dude? Hey, there we go. Five, finally. Ah, the fives are popping up again, finally. What's up? How's it going? Oh, it's going. Oh, it's it's, it's going. going, going. Dude, I, <laughs> Okay, so about that albino mythical rue that I got yeah. while I was You're a modding. little quiet, by the way. Are you further away from the mic than normal? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, can you Ooh, hear me now? 260. Uh, yeah, it's just you're not peeking into the red like you normally do. Oh, um, I guess that's a good thing, maybe? I mean, kind of, but I'm always peeking into the red, so you'll end up being quieter than me. And normally oh. you are peeking into the red. Okay, now you hit the red. There you go. Okay, oh, that's better. Okay. That's better. It just took a minute to catch up is all. It did. <laughs> We're going to tax this one. That's actually a cool one. I don't think I've got a mid-size rack with the chocolate fur. No. That's pretty cool. So, about that. The first part of that re that stream replay that I did has some of your video and has your reaction to me putting it in chat in there. Are you going to hit me with a copyright if I put that in a little video? Oh, yeah. I'm going to pull a full lawsuit on you, bro. bro. Okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> thought you probably no, want to. Okay. You're fine. I don't care. I thought it was funny because I'm like, I'm like freaking out. And then I like, I'm like, oh, okay. Scarecrow, you're going on mute. And then like, I'm just sitting there typing for like a minute. As I'm like rubbing it in your face that I'm getting. Yeah. This. And then you narrate perfectly for me as you're reacting <laughs> live. Amazing. You'll love to see it. Okay. I saw antlers. What do we got here? Small male. Four. Been grinding since the update only have one diamond and two pies unfortunate simba hopefully you'll be able to get some more man are you shooting everything or doing herd management You're going to hit 3,000 diamonds soon. We are close, man. We're super close. You know what else we're going to hit soon? 2,000 kills on this grind because <laughs> it's taking forever. Got such a rude fallow deer. Just doesn't want to give us a great one. Hi, uh, welcome back. Hi. Yeah, sorry, I had to meet you. Of course you did. I was talking to people, talking. To, I was talking to chat. Oh, sure you were. I see how it is. Livid liver. Let's do it. What a name. Hey, livid liver server. Oh, thanks, John. We uh, B Jones came over. Van came over. Crones all came B. over. Jones. Their wives. Oh, bro, bro. They're, you know. I'm going to have to show you some of the, like, fireworks that we set off yesterday. They're pretty good. Ooh, nice. Did you get to go shooting? No, no. Uh, we didn't have time. Like, I didn't even bother bringing my rifle because we already had planned to go fishing until we were going to do, like, fireworks and stuff. So, yeah, we went fishing instead, and I did catch a nice trout. So, it's pretty good, you know? That's awesome. Okay, okay. Did you get a picture of the trout? Yeah. No, did but I got video of it. Ooh, did you put that in any of the discords? No, I haven't. I got to pull the footage off the GoPro and then uh, edit it up. 
Hey, Lep Boy, how's it going? Sounds good, drawn. Sounds good. Fishing and farming, how you doing? <laughs> Jeremy. Oh, man. Yeah, it was uh, not so bad over here, but we're in the city, so they get a little more strict with it than they have whenever it's out in the country. Feels bad, dude. Yeah. But we have fun. Nice. You love to see it. Also, B. Jones, what's this brown stain on my wall outside the bathroom downstairs? That must be a B. Jones thing. I'm. That sounds him. like the work of B. Jones. It's him. I mean, I, t I, he was talking to me on chat, and I told him, don't bring the coffee into the bathroom. No, it's on the outside of the bathroom wall. I know. That's like I was, I was part. telling him not to do it, and he, he got distracted. And like right as he was entering, he just slammed into the wall because I was distracting him by saying, don't bring mm. it into the bathroom. And then boom, coffee stains all over your wall. I don't think so. Not with him. Totally. Holic, fan. Yeah, I don't think that was coffee. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like the, if one of the dogs. We had like six dogs over here last night. I don't know if they had like a little bit of poo that sounds on like, their butts. Yeah. It's Doggos like dog be going crazy. Uh, it's at dog butthole height, so it's a weird brown stain. I heard I was upstairs talking to the ladies, and I heard them cackling madly downstairs. So I, and then the brown stain came up. <laughs> so, well, sounds like you had an eventful day. Yeah, don't know, don't know what it is, but um, a little, I'm more than a little concerned. I should say that. Like a, a lo lot of bit concerned? A lot of bit concerned, yeah. A lot of bit concerned. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Hate it when you're a lot of bit concerned. Hey, 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 Will. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Like, what could that possibly have been? If it's not from the dogs, then where is it from? Who knows? Ooh, that's that's nice. a four that could make it. Unlikely, but it could. Dude, I'm so excited for Johnny to test out his mic and finally get it all working. Oh, yeah. We were testing it out yesterday, but it's hard to tell, like, exactly how things are listening through my phone. Yeah. I'm excited, though. It'll at least be better than the mic he has. 246. No matter, uh. no matter what. And he's got Norway, so he can go fishing with us. Go fishing there, mate. Oh, guess what? Chicken butt. I got some Pokemon cards today, right? Ooh, nice. I pulled nice. a gold card out of Evolving Skies. <laughs> oh, that's cool. But it was the like it was like the crystals one, so it's probably Not... like the least valuable one you could possibly get. <laughs> yeah, but those gold cards, like, it doesn't matter what those are. Those gold cards are pretty sweet, no matter what. Oh yeah. yeah. It's a sick card regardless. Dude, uh, I want that new set so bad. The, the new 151. Ones yes. Well, you're gonna have to wait for it to come out in the U.S. because they're doing uh they're doing booster bundles of this one, which is kind of odd. They've never done that for a special set. Yeah, I want the Japanese too. <laughs> you know? I know, but the Japanese set is so expensive. <sighs> like it's a hundred, I think it's 150 bucks for a booster box. Oh, that's insane, dude. But it's the original 151. I wish I, I could, know like, it's such a good set. All, like, I, I give back all the cards I bought so far. If I could get all that money back to get yeah. this one. <laughs> Noxus, thank you for the super chat, dude. Bro, we're talking about brown stains, bro. He's he's bro, bro. Dude, hey, another five me, guaranteed though. troll. Oof, tough scene. He's Honestly, good. I'm more excited about the one behind it who's completely flat. There's a four that's completely flat. Oh, my gosh. I'm shooting him um, first. Screw the five. Who cares about you? Oh, yes, Honey, I don't. There's a brown stain on the wall out here, and it's at like dog butthole height. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to ask B. Jones, but he's not listening. So I don't know what it is. Muting Brober while I pick this up so he doesn't ruin my YouTube short. <laughs> Dude, what is this thing right here? Look at this deer. What a freak of nature.
That is a weird deer. I don't got the room to tax them, but we will uh, at least screenshot it and get a nice YouTube short out of it. And 240. Yikes. At least the fives are popping up, right? Um, I had to mute you briefly so you wouldn't ruin my YouTube short. Yeah, that was smart. Um, <laughs> I, get, I was getting attacked. Uh, honey, there's like a brown stain. If you come down the stairs, it's like right by the bathroom there on the wall. Um, stain I, and I, man. It wasn't there before B. Jones and the other guys were down here. And then they went down here to the basement to hang out. And then all of a sudden, now there's a brown stain on the wall. Hey, Sam. How's it going, dude? How you doing, Sam? And Big boy four. Honestly, the only person that could answer that question is B. Jones. Mr. B. Jones. Mr. Bjones. I'm sure Cleaner will get it off, too, but I just want to know what they did down here. They, they probably don't even thing. remember, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, it was after American Rules Croquet. Let's see, how many drinks were involved with this? Hey, welcome, I'm assuming a Brandon. lot. Sorry you're here talking about a, like a brown stain on my wall after 4th of July. Um, it's not this weird all the time, I promise. It's um, only this weird, like, 30% of the streams. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'd, I'd say 30%. That's a good number. That's a generous number, and I appreciate 30% weird, 70% <laughs> average. Uh, yeah, B. Jones, I don't know what the deal is. I think it's it's probably that we had five dogs over here. At five dogs at once. Wow. Yeah. That's five, a lot to have in one yeah, household, so. dude. Yeah. Five, five dogs in one house. Yeah, Having one dog dogs. and two cats is crazy enough. Yeah, and there was only two small dogs, too. My dog and then uh, a Boston Terrier. So a Frenchie and a Boston Terrier. The rest Jeez. Of the, big dog. the big boy doggos. Yeah, I well, you guys are moving around. I heard you guys moving around. I want to know where this brown stain came from, B. Jones. It came from Narnia. <laughs> That's what they're calling it. That's Out of the closet. <laughs> kids are calling it Narnia now, huh? Came out of the wardrobe leading to Narnia. I don't either, B. Jones, but they were running around. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, so it, and the other thing is, if it wasn't a dog, which one of you was it? <laughs> I vote hey, B. Look. Jones. Ooh. That croc Most likely. Probably get. We'll come back or we'll get that. We'll get that croc later. We'll get that croc later. Don't worry. Hey, Maddie, how you doing? Oh, jeez, Sam, that's wild, dude. Yesterday, Maddie. I just went, uh, I went fishing and then shot off a bunch of fireworks after. Dude, this is the, uh, the first year in a while that I've been able to get, like, some of the big fireworks. Like, not like, not like big, big, <laughs> right? But, like, the biggest were allowed here in Oregon. And I, I had forgot how much better they are. Like, my gosh. But to be honest, I would rather buy one firework that's like 30 or $40 than buy like 10 of the $3 fireworks. They're just, the, the quality is just so much better. We did this one, right? It was like two minutes long. And the radius was ridiculously large like to the point where it was almost hitting the house and we were like oh gosh that's way more than we expected uh -huh. Ooh, could be chocolate b jones you're right there was chocolate around here catch anything fishing yeah i did clay drew i got like a i think it was like a 12 or 13 inch cutthroat trout uh -huh. which is not too bad for like a river like a wild cutthroat out of the river Oh, river trout. You ever get yourself ain't, a river cutthroat, brother? Ain't too bad for a river trout. I'm gonna throw you in the river like a trout, brother. 
Have fun. <laughs> Hope you can swim. I can. I got whipped toes, remember? Oh, true. That probably really helps quite like a, a bit with uh, swimming. Yeah, it'd really be more like a frog, you know? Probably. Throw it in there like a, like a, like a toad. Uh, there's no way that I could know why, Levi. Uh, the only explanations is either they're in new zones, they just haven't respawned yet, or they're late. Could be that you haven't gotten good yet as well. Yeah, getting good sometimes helps. Mm -hmm. But like, mm -hmm. doesn't seem to help me with getting this uh, fifth great one. Oh, uh, doing good, Maddie. Maddie, you should have been. You would be doing better, Maddie, if you would have played the Minecraft hunting mod that I hear so much about. She's playing Minecraft. Fire. She wasn't playing the Minecraft hunting mod. What are you doing? <laughs> oh Lord. Is this an okay? I was like, is that another Mela attacking me? I would have been. I would have. Mela's just love you, dude. Apparently, man. Apparently, I like to, all these Crocs like to come out and give me a big old kiss. <laughs> they use too much teeth, but ah, still, sounds painful. Yeah, yeah, they're not very, not very considerate. Crocs are very, very rude. Because you stream it, Maddie. That's how everyone knows you're playing Minecraft. If you don't want people to know you're playing Minecraft, don't broadcast it to the world. That's how. <laughs> that that would be a good idea, yeah. You don't nice. want people knowing what you're doing. Don't show people right? what you're doing. Boom. Yeah. Oh, oh, Mr. Level 6 Crocodilo. Little Crocodilly over here. Getting aggressive on me. <laughs> Get good. Get good. Uh, could somebody that uh, is watching the stream, could one of you guys go back to the very beginning of the stream and tell me what the diamond counter said? Because I want to know how much we've got during this stream. Because it's just so weird that we suddenly are getting barely any. I want to see if like my average is still fine because maybe we're just hitting a bad streak after a good streak. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, it's hard to say either way. Who knows, bro? Uh, Nate Jr., somebody was already on the coast on this map, so I'm running the north part. Plus, I found most of my rares on the northern part anyway, so. I was at 2831. Okay, so we've got 12 during this stream. 12 of them in like 340 kills. That's a diamond every 28 kills. That isn't bad, actually. It's probably just because we're used to the extreme of getting one. Oh. Nice. Oh, dude. my gosh. We shot down this zone. We could leave uh, it. Brandon, I have never played Fishing Planet. I hear it's quite the grind. Um, it is. Yeah. I hear it's like either you have to grind a lot or pay a lot of money. And uh, I'm not really about that. So uh, I play the angler. Call the wild the angler. Some people like it a lot, though. Some Angles of the like wild it. caller. How many kills into this grind am I? 1,830. It's a long one, man. This is it's a long, a long grind. One. It's the long one, Mr. Grinch. Why did I know you were going to do that? Because I always say that. I always say <laughs> yeah. that. I say, I was like, oh, it's hot outside. I say, it's a hot one, Mr. Grinch. You're me one. Oh, Brandon. I, Brandon, are you on PC or are you on console? Yeah, that's what I heard, Matty. Takes a while. Do, 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 nah, do, 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 Fellblade. Oh, that's awesome, Fellblade. Sounds good, Pike. That's awesome, Fellblade. Double rares. That's sick. Okay, this tree 
was there before I was, but that doesn't mean I'll be I'm right not back. Get upset. I'm gonna All grab right, well, a drink real quick. Sounds good. I'll be bro, bro. I'll be bro, bro. I'll be bro, bro. He loves when I say that. Flee, you fool. Oh, what am I doing this weekend? God, what am I doing this weekend? Honey, what am I doing this weekend? I just got major deja vu. Like, I've been asked this question running this exact part of the river, asking my wife what I'm doing this weekend, because I do not know. Do not know. Uh, because if you were on PC, you can play the angler. You could also just get the angler when it comes out on PC. In the fall, you're really running at me from like six miles away. Are you kidding me? Uh, I've got a couple diamond crocs. Um, before not not tonight, but like in the past. I do need. There's something coming after me. Really? This is what we're doing? Ooh, 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 can't turn All right, up. I'm back. <laughs> Why did I come back to you, freak? Uh, it came. You came back to me trying to spot some magpie geese, and the friggin' croc, crocosilly comes out the river acting all oh, pepperonis. He got blasted. Did you just call it a crocosilly? Yeah, crocosilly. <laughs> Not a crocodilly, crocosilly, because he thinks he's tough, and he got blasted. Sounds about right. Yeah. You got the smoke. That ain't no joke. Going. Thanks, Ian. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. 2K uh, came very fast. Um, I did get a screenshot of getting 2023. I thought that was pretty funny. Caitlin, stop. Stop, Caitlin. Girl. No, great ones are not harder to get on console. It's the same you, on Caitlin. PC and console. It is the same no matter what you play on. I have no clue, Brandon. Hey, leader. However, there is definitely one one like catch to that, right? The odds of getting a great one are the same no matter what platform you're on. However, EW has specifically made it so that Brober's PC doesn't get great ones. They they've officially said, you know, Brobra does not have any odds for great ones. Like the odds are zero percent. Unfortunate, ain't it? I had you muted. Well, that's quite unfortunate. What'd you say? Oh, I, I told everybody that uh, odds are the same on console and PC for great ones, but Brober's PC has been specifically designed not to spawn great ones by EW. Yeah. I've been. They, they saw it and they're like, they're like, we cannot let this guy get a chance at a great one. He will shoot it seven times in the butt with a 22 and then ask why he not didn't get full score. Well, not on purpose, but I would ask for, a, I would definitely be looking for a redo. What up, Pike? Thank you, Pike. Let's get some legendary Pikes in the chat, huh? Always gotta be the one up. Thank you, Pike. I appreciate Always that. Always gotta one up. Pike the legend. Him? Nice, another wonky pal. Oi! An eight, Rue. Another Hopefully eight. Hopefully, you'll get it soon, John. Hopefully, you'll get it soon, that man. Three eights? Is that three level lights? There were three level eight kangaroos there. Three level lights? Freaking kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. Who do these kangaroos? Is there a, tell me there's a, like a nine leading that pack. I think they've got like a, a camera hidden somewhere. They're pulling a prank on you. They have to be, man. Like, where's Ashton Kutcher? Bro, you getting punked. What's happening? Rest in pieces, yep, bro, bro. There are three eights in that one little kangaroo. What's that group of kangaroos called? A hop? 
No. <laughs> what are they called? What's, what's the group of kangaroos uh, called? The hippity? I don't know. The hippity hop? But it sure ain't a hop. It's got to be a hop. What's the group of kangaroos called? Where's Mr. Strader? He would know this. Somebody in chat said that they're called a troop. Troop. That kind of makes sense. They're kind of like... Beat you up. Both them trooperoos. A lot, Florida man. I can't even count. Oh, Maddie, that's the worst. You think you think my oh ooh, Maddie. How dare you? I asked um You know the the uh group of roos, what they're called. And Maddie said a group with all capital R O O G R O G R O O P. <laughs> yeah, the worst. A group of roos. They're hip hop groups. Oh, Sam. <laughs> Love it, Sam. Tim. Speaking speaking of hip hop, <laughs> I was just about to ask Sam. <laughs> Sam, have you heard the new Chetta song? It's I, I'm kind of. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of. I was kind of shocked at like the production style, like it's uh it sounds good, but like it's way different than what he's used before. Really interested to see what the full album's gonna sound like. Only uh, only about twenty seven hours to wait till the full album drops. I could tell, Maddie. I could tell. Oh yeah, it's not on Spotify. It's only in music video form on YouTube at the moment. He's only got it out in the in the music video. A level three. A group of ruse is called a mob troop or court. Okay. I like the hip hop group. <laughs> I also like begrudgingly. I also like the group. I like I liked both of those. Begrudgingly. Wow, look at those. Look at those tiny tang. Tiny Ooh. tang. Another tiny tang. Oh, you're running in circles. We got mad cow disease. Probably. Do it, Sam. Oh, check Brandon. check out that video. It's pretty good. On a normal week, Brandon, I stream uh, like every night, like every day except for Saturday. Saturday, I record videos and spend time with family. Nah, it, Saturday he sits in his room and cries all day. <laughs> I'm you. I'm recording videos with you. Yeah, that's why you're uh, crying all day. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally <laughs> yeah, you you like videos there, with you. <laughs> you just sit there crying the entire time we're recording. I'm like, bro, bro, you have to pull it together, man. Come on. <laughs> We got it. We got to do a video here. Why are you crying the entire time? Court will decide your fate. Oh, man. I don't know how some people haven't gotten um, attacked by. I think it was Kinsko has still has not gotten attacked by a kangaroo. That's crazy. I've been attacked by right? like 20 of them, I think. A billion. Yeah. Yeah, At least 20 of them the Too entire time. Literally. Okay, there's a Bantang up I there. Where is he? Avoid them. No. Can't avoid them at all. Where are these crocodilies? No males there? Weird. No males, no fails. A rudiment. <laughs> wow. Uh, like, I have to make a post and we'll see. We will see. Uh, but all the uh if you guys I think the next one I'll put up to a vote, but the next members only stream, um, I think is going to be, I think everybody's going to want to see it. Me and uh, my IRL friends, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to take them on a guided hunt. Oh, good um, luck with that. <laughs> yeah. And they look, they don't know how to play the game. They've played, they have a lot of hours in the game. I couldn't tell you anything. B Jones watches Hundreds of hours of Scarecrow streams. Has no clue what he's doing in the game. <laughs> I mean, that's just that's just how it be sometimes, you know? That's just how it be, man. Hey, look. 
They're just here to blast, you know? They're here to have a good time. They don't really care about trophies. They're here to pull out the pew pews and go ba 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 ba. Exactly. Dolan, you're gonna be waiting for a Burbit beginner series video because Burbit are not for beginners. I'm not trying to trick them. They're trying to trick beginners into fishing for Burbit. Burbot are terrible. They're the worst. Like ew. Disgusting. They're the absolute worst. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be like, oh, beginner's guide, because then beginners are gonna try to fish for the burbot and just get wrecked, and they're gonna quit the game. They'll be like, what is this trash? Uh, Brandon, it's coming out as early as like mid-August. Could be into September, maybe. They were. Jaxie was saying August. He was saying August on the stream today. Good old August, mate. I think it could be. I think it could be into into September potentially. Just my personal feeling. Oh, Fresh Prince is great. I only get attacked by Maybe I once see. they uh, once I shoot him. Maybe I see. We'll see, man. That's a four that looked like a five for what the? I have three cross. here. Excuse me. You're excused. What the? You are excused. And I thought that log was a, like a really light colored croc, but it wasn't. It's fine. We got an it's extra fine. buck here. What is this? I need a leucistic croc and then the other pie bulb, and then I'm done with crocs. I'm done so. Done so ski like broski. I feel like investing in the crocs now is a good idea because I feel like they're going to be harder and harder to get the longer the uh, game's out. Yeah, because they're super popular to hunt, so. Hey, David. For sure. I mean, possibly, Hosea. Possibly. How many Tony kills in? 1,849. Tony's in my map. Tony the Tony. Tony from the Lash. Dude, why? Why? Look, Tony run. from the Dodash. A warning call from over there. It says who? Oh, thanks, David. Welcome over. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Very right again. Tony from Dodash. What are you doing, Tony? What are you doing? Yeah, to same me? for sure. What'd you think of the song? I, I feel like it was a really interesting, interesting direction because I've never heard him do like a beat like that before. Pretty wild. This beat is sick. I kind of liked it though. That beat, that beat was hitting hard. It was just different. Orlando, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Great one, Bear Grind on Layton. Oh man, don't <laughs> don't tell, don't do that to me. No. Hey, Clark. <laughs> Oh my God. Never, but thank you, Orlando. Caitlin, I knew Appreciate I it. knew you were gonna follow up on that, Caitlin. I knew I couldn't say. I knew I was. If I said it, you'd bite. I knew it. Javan Rusa. You ever see a Javan Rusa? Not, not a level five that's made diamond. Oh, I haven't. By the way, I'm up to eight trolls now. I don't want to hear Crow sing anything. Ah, uh, you want to hear me sing everything. I think you <laughs> misspoke. You want to hear everything. No, I did not. Did not. Somebody said they wanted you to uh, sing the Great One song for it to show up. Ah, no thank you. Mm. See, See, even Scarecrow's agreeing. No thank you. <laughs> no thank you. No, no. Never. Nah, David, nah. Have I or do I play golf? I played golf when I was younger. I've played since, uh, since uh, being an adult, though. I played mini golf. I count. I count, right? Um, which one are you? What what did what did hers end up looking like, Doan? Because I got one that was really cool as well. That was Irish L crack. Was it just pointed up more? Because that's what mine ended up looking like. And I, if that's the case, yes, I agree. 
because I I didn't like the Irish Elk Rack until I ended up getting mine and saw what Truax could do to it. If that's the case, yes, I agree. They can look really insanely good. What will the true rex do? That's a log, that's not a croc. What do the true rex do? Oh yes, so what do the true rex do? Oh yes, so oh, God, what do singing. the true rex do? Oh yes, so. This is your guys' fault. <laughs> my favorite great one, um, my favorite great one is the typical wreck white tail. Uh, great one until. And that's gets just it. because I was just gonna say that's just because I don't have it. That's why it's his yep. favorite. Uh, that's exactly right. Grober could have said like fabled birch typical wreck moose, but no, he's like typical wreck white tail bro. I really don't know what that is to be honest. It's my most wanted combo for moose. Oh. So in other words, you want it? Like. Yeah, that's that's it. That's the one I want. Well, yeah, ha! Sure. The one I want more than that is the fabled Mocha Saw Blade Rack Fallow. So, ha! Oh, um, that's the one I want, I guess. All right, guys. I see this. This this guy. I don't know if you guys guy. have noticed, but <laughs> this guy. I I don't really. If you're new here. I like great ones. I think they're super neat and a very uh, a fun addition to the game. Um, but he'll never hunt for one like purposely. I mean, I will. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot some stuff. Um, you know, Fallow we'll might be the only one he'll ever actually go for, and it'll be casual. Am I gonna go for it? I don't. What do you? What do you define as going for it? Because, Shooting like, Fallow think, deer in hopes that you could eventually maybe get one. I was thinking about this. Bro. Like, I was thinking, like, am uh, I gonna be misleading people if? I call something a grind, even though it's like nothing like anybody else. Like it doesn't look like anybody else's grind. No, you grind... won't be. Okay, because a grind for me is like, if I set up tents and like I go to those tents, you know, a couple of times, like that's a grind for me. Nobody, everybody else would be like, no, you're just hunting. I'm like, oh, well, you know, that's a lot of effort for me. So in my terms, in Brover terms, that's a full blown grind. Exactly. That croc, that croc is running far. Bruh. Hey, Jay. Bro, bruh. Out of the last, like, seven or eight level fives, five of them have trolled. Uh, that probably means you have a great one in a solo zone somewhere on your map that you haven't looked at in a long time. See, I would think that, but, like, but you're as far as I know, a fallow deer from a herd cannot become a solo. Well, can I tell you something so, else? You learn something new every day. I mean, you're not wrong, but like crying. still. Croc is really scared of me. Have you ever heard of the term of get good? Yeah, B. Jones says it all the time. Yeah, you should he's do that. He's obsessive about that. He just wants you to get good. I, I guess, is that oh, so wrong for somebody to want you to better yourself? Yeah, it is. When he's obsessive about it, you get, he's getting weird with it, dude. Like whispers. Nah, it dude. He, he just like wants to make sure you're okay. Nah, he like leans in real close and like puts his like lips up to the back of my and ear. He's and he like, says, get good. Exactly. It's the yeah. He does that. He actually does it. That's real. Everybody should tell him about that. Oh, um, there we go. Finally, a five that'll probably make it. Oh, that stinks, Florida man. No, yeah, I guess I don't know. Like, I'll like a grind for me is like if I set up tents and tripods at a, at like lakes and stuff, and I like do a, like a run or two, like that's a grind. Some people would be like, that's not a grind. Or like if I like like what I do with the raccoon dogs, like where I'm just like kind of I'm running around, I'm shooting kind of pretty much anything, but like I, I the raccoon dogs. That's a grind. 258, let's go. Run to me. That's a dimey boy. That's a little dimey. And a 236 right after. Right after, brother. I'm just uh not the biggest uh fan of doing the same thing over and 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 over. Yeah, only insane people would ever do that. And over 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 and over. Isn't that like the definition of insanity is like doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result? 
expecting a different result yeah doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting the same result is fine expecting a different result yeah yeah that or narcissism so like i'm not insane because i'm expecting it to be the same every time i'm like oh, i don't think i'm gonna get a great one well, and then i do me. i mean you're insane for different reasons but yeah it's not that <laughs> i'll take it yes the diamond counter is every diamond i've ever got it's not just from this grind i promise Gotcha, Jake. Ma'am, stop jumping in front of the bullets. Why do you want to die so bad? That's a, not a, a bad looking hog deer. Uh, my favorite trophy is a diamond water buffalo that I got at point blank range while recording a first to a diamond challenge with Pro and Caitlin. But Burber um, bad, so he shot it before the challenge started. Not bad. I was being mauled to death by a water <laughs> buffalo that happened to be diamond. Your mic is so destroyed. I know. I, I, I happened to just... It was there. It was attacking me. Crow was doing his little intro. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome and Burber's back. like, does he count? Did I win? And I'm yeah, like, but... I hadn't even got finished with my intro. No. Yeah, and I was like, it counts, it counts. You finished the intro, but I killed it like after you finished the intro. I got it recorded, and I sent him the recording, and he's like, yeah, but in the intro, when I explained the rules, I said, after I say go, and him and Caitlin weren't even in maps yet, so I technically had an under advantage. Yeah, technically, bro, bro, bad. Yeah. So I, it, I didn't win. I didn't win on a technicality. Uh, but it was super then later on I had a I had a, like a guaranteed diamond muley that I was chasing and I it ran into another group of muley Why is this and then I ran into another group of muleys and I lost it I lost the the diamond the like, guaranteed diamond muley and I look back at the footage and you can see me like trying to spot it and you see the diamond start walking out of frame and I'm looking the other way. Um, and You're it's doing just a really, great. Yeah, it's just a really funny I mean that's fun that's just, that's just classic bro bro. Like, right? And it was fun. It's just just I was just blasting with the homies. Um it just that's my favorite trophy. I have much rarer trophies like the mythical level 8 mythical melanistic cross much rarer the, le the, the level the 8 mythical croc mellow croc Mello see there that's the piece we were missing mellow croc. Mellow that's croc. the piece to the puzzle we were missing to make that make sense yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i got lots of other diamonds you know oh, all that man. kind of stuff uh i got a, a large gold mellow bobcat and that was really cool but it's the trophies that have like fun stories that go along with them that are the most fun uh, those are the ones I like the most. That's like uh, just something you can't you can't ever repeat that. No matter how many diamond water buffalo ever shot, no one's ever going to have that experience. You know what I mean? I'm never going to be able to shoot, like have that fun moment like with my friends repeat that, you know? Oh, yeah. That's the same with like that. Remember that alligator that we got like just before Emerald Coast came out where everybody thought I botched it, including myself? And you and Caitlin Maybe. had to help me find you and Caitlin had to help me find it, remember? The gator on my Mississippi. And then oh, I yeah. the, the first shot I did zero right. So it, luckily I was taking a 300 meter shot. So the first shot went into the lake. The second shot went clean over its neck. The third shot finally got lung and it almost sank and I almost didn't get it. But it at the very last second, after the longest time, because it finally you're just started. that professionally good at the game, you know. <laughs> no, well, I was almost just that good. I was almost bad enough to lose it. Now, nah, bro, bro brain your name no more. It's Probra. Yeah, <laughs> you're Probra now. I mean, the whole chat was just red with the botched emote. Everybody botched, 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 botched. I thought I botched Unfortunate, it. Unfortunate, man. I was about to cry on stream. Feels bad. Get good. <laughs> Am I right? It popped up and I got it. And you know, that's that's one of my favorites of all time too. Cause it's, you know, I'm Caitlin Crow having fun. You know, all of my friends are there. Exciting moment. 
that's what that's what my those are my favorite trophies. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then, like, exactly. to this day, one of my, like, top ten trophies is still that Melephezant. Like, even though, like, right. it's not a great one, I didn't grind for it or anything, but I found it in multiplayer, and it's one of the rarest and prettiest rares I've got. And the fact that I crashed while trying to track it, and then found the server again, joined in, ran from a different outpost, and still found it, is just, it's crazy. Ooh, nice, Tom. Yeah, that is super lucky. Or the uh, red ptarmigan that you crashed like twice. Oh my gosh, I spent three hours trying to find that red ptarmigan. Yeah, and luckily Mel was nice enough to keep it all up and everything. Yeah, Mel's a legend. Hey, we got a guaranteed diamond five in front of us. Let's go! Finally, and we're finally getting a couple diamonds. We've got two diamonds in the last like 20 kills, so definitely a step up from before. Proud of you. You're doing good. Thank you, bro, bro. 263. That's a dime right there. I tell you what. Yeah, I want that mellow pheasant so bad. Or an albino one. I'll take either. Any rare pheasant male is amazing, to be honest. Yeah, they're all so good. My gosh, <laughs> Sam with the 28 months. Holy. Um, Almost David, about to hit that 30. Uh, David, basically, like, if I'm on a multiplayer map and there's open slots, go ahead and hop in. Totally cool. Um, I don't do, like, guided hunts or anything like that. You don't want me guiding you, number one. That would be terrible. Yeah. Number he would two, guide you to the nearest lake and you'd sink. Yeah, it wouldn't be great. It would not be great. Um, oh my gosh, another five. That's pretty much it. There's our fives. And the angler, too. Angler, you can't, like, nobody can, like, spook each other's fish, and, like, I can't affect your fishing. You can't affect my fishing. So, with the angler, love to have people hop on and. Diamond. Hang out. The only boom. Nice. Two diamonds oh. in one run. Finally. There you go. There you go. We're picking they're it not, back up. They're not totally gone. Yeah. The only thing it about, must have been on a bad streak, like CJO was. Had to have been. Yeah, that's crazy, Maddie. Hey, Mr. Schrader. All good, brother. Uh, yes, Hayden, I do shoot all the fives when I see them, but I was stacking them when I was first getting my map set up for HM. Uh, you stack them if you want to shoot the rest of the map down to low levels faster, and if once you're past that point, you can just shoot everything. You can just shoot all the, like, threes and fours and fives. Oh, yeah, Maddie, it, it's a fun game, especially if you, like, call the wild pace hunting games. Uh, you're going to like a Call of the Wild Pace fishing game. Promise. Can you take diamonds off other people's maps in Angler, or does it not work like that? So everybody's fish are different. So you may be on the same server with somebody else, right? But everybody's fish are a uniquely generated population. So nobody can steal fish from you in the Angler. Yep. Uh, that reminds me. I have a really bad itch for Gen Z again. You do yeah like oh man blowing up all those robots was so fun maybe we'll have to hop onto the second channel and do a little bit of that soon we gotta do ground branch though we gotta do ground branch we gotta do hell at loose we gotta do sea of thieves yeah because i already told both john and kevin that we would do some ground branch soon so yeah we told our other friend we'd we'd play sea of thieves and i like how you I just refer to him as our other friend <laughs> When I just refer to him by name. I just, I mean, I don't know for, I, I don't want to like get people's hopes up like that we'd stream it, you know? I mean, I've already told people. 
that it's a okay. possibility. So it's not like you have to okay. be secretive about it. <laughs> okay, I haven't heard that, so I didn't want to like I don't want to get people's hopes up that it that we may or may not. I just told so everybody just it would probably to... happen eventually, but I don't know when. Gotcha. Go pick this leg for some hoggy boys. Yeah, angler is gonna be fun. I'm so excited on the angler. The only thing when you guys, when we uh, get the angler and all of our console buddies hop in with us, the only thing is just make sure you guys aren't like driving your boats right in front of our cameras. Um, that's the only thing about the angler. Otherwise, you guys are more than welcome to come fish with us. That's the only thing. So if all of uh, if the only thing the viewers can see is your boat. There's not going to be any viewers left. <laughs> hey, it's Paul. Hey, Paul. He's Paul so cool. Olaf. How you doing, buddy? Mr. Paul. Yes. It's something like that, Tom. It's close to 107. Does Angler have a console date yet? Uh, sometime after August, essentially. Will, buddy, I'm going to tell you something. The members only streams are not monetized, so there it is not family friendly. You would members not like only the members streams only get streams. Wild. <laughs> uh, I'm They're you now, very Will, bro, 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 bro esque, you know? Yep. Yep. Save your money. Members only streams are not family friendly. There's, I turned monetization off, so there's no ads for anybody. And Brober just goes crazy, you know? How about crazy? He lets, but... he's lets, he lets the language be a little loosey. Yeah, I get a little loosey-goosey with the language. And the other thing is, I have guests on there, too. And it's going to be my IRL friends, and they are not going to censor themselves. <laughs> I mean... B. Jones did an okay job of censoring himself during Crab Champions. Yeah, yeah. It's not. B. Jones did okay. It's not B. Jones. Just B. Jones singular. I'm worried about. It's B. Jones plus these other idiots. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we need to be. It's them. It's all of them in a group. It's the worst. Got it's you. Okay. Worst. I was an Amazon map, but I want to see in the angler. Show up to your zone, you freaks. Obviously, deep sea. Deep sea fishing, obviously, for the angler. Please. Um, obviously, deep sea. I'd, I'd like ice fishing if they put in some of the technology needed for that. Um, I think that would oh, be really be cool. cool. Oh, bro, bro. Bro, yeah. bro. Um, yeah. Ultimate Fishing Simulator, the original one. Is getting okay. bow fishing eventually. Would you play it when they add bow fishing? Um, I think I that's a pretty cool thing. I wouldn't pay for it. I, I mean, it's a very cheap it. game. I'm sure you could get it on G2A for like dirt cheap. M maybe. Depends. Um, because bow fishing has never been done in a video game. Yeah, for that's some true. reason. Is that a pie ball? I don't get why they've never done bow fishing like in any fishing game. I think I just got. I think that's a lucisic or a pie ball. I think I just got a, like it's a female, but still. Oh lord! Oh lord! The kangaroos are going nuts. They like you. That's why. I don't know about that. Uh, I'm in that weird spot where the animals get frozen in place. Oh, got you. Okay. Yeah. Fun times. Yeah. So I'm going to try to get some good screenshots here. That's a lucistic. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It is. It's a loose sister Java Rusa. How about that? Dude, that's my most wanted Rusa trophy. It's a female. It's a female. Oh, it's a female. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're saved. We're Phil, saved. If it was a male, I'd cry a little inside. Nice, nice loose sister Java and Rusa. 
Blue that sister looks... Javada rooster, I tell oh, you man. what. It looks good. They're freaking jacked too, man. Those look hey, good. Hey, bro, bro. Right? A bunch of people are telling me that rooster got a great one in his sanctuary. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Pike's done that too. Right, Pike? I think Pike was trying to, but I don't know if he actually got it. Oh. I remember Pike. I think Pike told me he gave up at like a few hundred resets or something like that. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen quite a few people. Makes me want to try and get one in there. <laughs> I know. It's like I... a little side quest. <laughs> Best I was able to get was a diamond in the uh, sanctuary. Got a diamond fallow in the sanctuary for the opener of a video once. That's pretty nice. Yeah, it was cool. I'd like to get a rare or a great one to show up in there, but you know, yeah. it is what it is, man. Sorry, guys. I gotta. You have to really uh, take advantage of having really cool, high quality uh, photos of animals for thumbnails. Whenever you get a chance like this, you gotta take it. Because those opportunities do not come along very often. I don't really like to shoot them either. If it's like a super rare trophy, I might, but eh. How do you reset your sanctuary? Just leave the game and then, or leave the map. Like go to main menu, menu and then join back in. It'll be new animals. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty sweet though. The great hey, another I five. Let's go. Dude, we're finally getting the fives again. Let's oh. go. Dude, every time you say let's go like that, I just think of that like meme of that kid sitting at his desk. And he says, okay, let's go. Let's and go. He starts... yeah. Let's uh, go, brother. Brother, go oh. let's. Um, so here's where they get stuck. So here's this outpost, Zoe's cottage, top left. Every time you go here, if they get stuck on this ridge, like right here is where they get stuck. Um, I don't like to shoot them there, but it is good for screenshots. Boom, shakalaka, another diamond. Yeah. Okay, okay let's go. But uh, angler, yeah, deep sea ice fishing. Great lakes would be cool. Um, like a like a Mississippi River Delta would be cool. Florida would be cool. Like an Everglades map would be cool. Give me peacock bass in angler, and I'll be happy. Yeah, you could do that in the Amazon for sure, or Florida. Yeah, um, indeed, both would be good. Kenai Peninsula and Alaska king salmon fishing would be sweet in the Kenai Peninsula. The Salamones. That'd be a salmon you wouldn't hate to catch, bro, bro. That's true. Although they'd be friggin' massive, dude. They would. I think the world record is like 90-some pounds, right? I think it is. Yeah, John, we're saying, like, besides the Amazon, what do I want to see? And those were my... Those are some of my top ones. Um, but Amazon is my top, for sure. That's what I want. There's so many cool fish down there so many cool arapaima like a freak that thing looks like a freaking dragon dude oh yeah arapaima are awesome any awesome there'd be a lot of cool Pima. asian maps too the only thing i don't want is a carp map what? get that out of my face are you kidding me you're just no. doing that because you you're you're always after cjo of You're always trying to diss CJO, so you don't want of anything he I could am. potentially relate with. That's exactly why. Hey, There's I no like fish. carp, okay? I like carp fishing in games. They're trash fish, bro. They're trash fish. Grass carp, mirror carp, common carp, Prussian carp. Give me all the carp. Give me all the cops, mate. That would be cool, Mr. Schrader. I, yeah, I definitely think uh, like a Mississippi River would be cool. Mississippi River Delta, maybe, so you can get lakes. You can get oxbow lakes. You can get regular lakes. You can get river fishing. 
you can get full gambit there. It'd be kind of cool if they put fly fishing in. I think I don't remember exactly what the wording was, but like they weren't completely shut off to the idea of adding fly fishing to the game. Hmm, fly fishing would be pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. Kel yeah, count one thousand eight hundred and seventy-seven. Yeah, we got so too got, many kills. Yeah. They've got one extra. They've got one map now. It's called it's a uh, troll sport. It's a uh, Norway map. That's the first DLC. And then they also have a bunch of free DLCs uh, where they give you extra rods and reels um, and different cool stuff like that. So they've got some stuff out already and uh, they have another map in the works. They're also bringing it to console. It's going to be cross play. Um, there's gonna they're gonna be backfilling fish already. So you remember how long it took for animals to get backfilled on Call of the Wild? They're putting brand new species on the original maps already. So those devs Crazy. are working very hard. Angler's gonna cost uh Jaxie actually answered that today on the EW Angler stream. If you guys didn't know, Jaxie streams Angler from uh the EW uh, official account every Wednesday at the same time as he does the Hunter Call the Wild stream. Uh, and he gives us, you know, updates and stuff there. Hey, Blitz, how's it going? Nope. That is not what it means, Chip. But yeah, and uh, so it's going to cost about the same on console as it does on PC. Is it just me or is Chip like very much a chip? Oh my gosh, it's incredible. It's such it's, a it's chip. Painful. It's painful and incredible at the same time. Just how much of a chip he is, yeah. Yep. It's crazy. I look at him and I'm like, wow, so chip like chip. Gosh. Chip said, doesn't carpe diem mean a carpe day? No. A carpe day keeps bro bro away from you. Yeah, I mean, actually, yeah, it would work. So a backfill animal means like uh, putting animals on maps that already exist. So like um, when they put pheasants on um, Hirschfelden or um, turkeys on um, late, that's called backfilling. Oh, Mr. Schrader, carp are invasive trash fish. You should know this. I'm surprised at you, Mr. Schrader. I'm surprised. Welcome back, Mike. That's why when you catch them, you just throw them back. <laughs> hey, Jeremy. You don't throw them back. You throw them on the bank. <laughs> you have the freaking you have the crows get them. You should know that. I am a crow. No, you're actually a scarecrow. Nah, I'm crow. Everybody calls me crow, so I must be a crow. Wow, just letting people define you like that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. That's what they say, right? It is God, what it is, man. Yeah, friggin' Dylan got two diamond uh, Atlantic salmon. Pulled them out right in front of uh, Jaxie today on stream. That is such a Dylan thing to mm -hmm. do. Am I right? Mm -hmm. It is. And that's why I was like, uh. I was like, this is why we don't, we make him play with a handicap whenever he does the first two diamond with us. He hey, just Jetson, knows all the good spots. I mean, he was fishing where Jaxie was. And Jaxie didn't get anything. I, I think. I think it's just Dylan, just amazing. Maybe he was. He was using a different lure. I think. Dylan, just better. Mm -hmm. What can I say? He has just gotten good, and it's it's as simple as that. All you of ever us... thought about getting good, Ned? He has, and we haven't, and that's the difference. I totally believe it. No trophies yet, John. We're still looking. This map is actually kind of weirdly dead. What's the wind doing? Okay, wind is good. We got plenty of time. We're going to go. I actually haven't looked at these lakes pretty much ever, so I'm going to look at these lakes. Carp nuggets. Ugh. Hey, chicken lover. Holy. 
what I'm doing. Um, all right. So we're going here. All right, let's go look for hog deer at this lake. Let's see what we get. Hey, hey, airplane stop. How you doing, buddy? How are you doing? Check that. Okay, get rid of that. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. There we go. Uh, chip is a chip that does. That's true, Statler. Absolutely true. Red deer. I always forget there are red deer on this map. Every time I see a red yeah. deer like morning call, I'm like, oh yeah, there are red deer on Australia. I forgot. Red Australia, mate. Red deer. Australia. I don't know what that was, but I'm not sure if I liked it. <laughs> nah, you loved it. I'm not sure that I did. No, you loved it. You did. You know it. Mm, I don't think that's the case. No, you loved it, bro, bro. Don't lie to me. I know you. You do. You do I know do. me. That is true. I can't deny that. Mm -hmm. I know you. I want to know if there's hog deer at this lake. That's what I want to know. Be so annoyed if the hog deer just aren't here. Like, oh, actually, we don't. We don't go there. They're just being rude or something. Yeah, we go to every other lake, but not that. lake. <laughs> oh yeah, all the time, Jake. That's like, besides like all like the max level animals always trolling on this map, the level five red deer are another reason why Emerald Coast is the troll king. Because everybody always thinks they're like a big sandbar or something when they see That's them. why it's Emerald Trollst. Yep. Or the Troll Coast. Emerald Trollst, brother. Okay, so there are no hog deer at this lake. That is odd. I'm not going to waste more time going there. Um... I guess let's go here. Well, do I want to go there? I know there are hog deer here, so I'm going to go here. Hey, Tragic, how's it going? Welcome back. Have you very, uh, it meant ever. Okay. Um, have I ever seen him in real life? I mean, yes. Uh, he's like whenever... seen me, but he hasn't like gone to like say hello or something, you know? Soul. I haven't like looked into his soul. No. No, but um, I definitely yes. not. Like and I'm we, gonna hope that day never happens. Oh, it's good. It's coming. No, brother. you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna <laughs> melt on the side of the highway yeah, before you see it's, me. It's coming, brother. Nah, um, like whenever we do, whenever one of us gets like Pokemon cards or something, we always do like we we open them and we usually have like a face cam on, so because you have to see the cards. He's looked into my eyes. Whoa! Oh my gosh, no way. Ooh, that's cool airplane stuff. Bro, we got a new herd over here. Oh my gosh, no wonder my... Wow, shooting these does has really screwed everything up. Yep. Uh, did you accidentally shoot does? No, 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 I was shooting some of them on purpose. Dude, I've been deleting zones to get like more stuff to show up at uh, other spots right like trying to get the Ooh. zones to move into better locations dude <laughs> i've got a full new herd in a spot that used to have nothing and it's got two threes that are like larger threes yeah same uh, same john same bro i've seen hate to see it bro <laughs> No wonder my fives have been all like weird. Danny, thanks for the sub, man. Appreciate that. Well, looks like you're looks like you need me to come on your map and set all those zones straight, huh? No. Dude, it really is not that big of a deal. Caitlin was able to get her map back working in like three to four months. Does that one look weird too? Is that a normal sandbar color? Is that, a is that a normal sandbar color? You like yourself some sand? Is it the light brown? Uh, light brown, yeah, maybe. Probably. In that case, yeah, it's normal. 
Hey, tragic. Yeah, light brown. It just like the black legs looked really cool. Gotcha. I didn't say Mela. I said, is that normal? Okay. You have no trolls at all, Statler? Are you kidding me? Except by the way. I was so mad when CJ was like, is that Mela? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Is that Mela? And I'm like, no, it's not. It's just a black band tang in the shadows. I tell you what. I was like, it's just a black band tang in the shadows. It's not a Mela band tang. And I was like, this guy's an idiot. And it ended up being a Mela, Mela band. Get freaking was, wrecked, bro. You just I suck. Was, what can I say? I was, I was so Hashtag annoyed. Brobra bad in chat. Can I get a Brobra bad in chat, please? <laughs> So annoyed that he actually got a mellow band thing. Right? I was running my mouth, too. I was talking so much trash. Man. Wow, dude. Being <laughs> so upset trash. that somebody's doing better than you. Gosh. How dare you? I was I was running my mouth, man. I bet Look, you I came, were. I came in fighting, right? I came in hooting and hollering, right? Talking trash. And he hits me with, How, how was your day, buddy? How have you been? being really nice right and he's being like kind and like have like asking hey genuine typical questions. cjo am i right <laughs> right right being kind and nice and had genuine questions about how i'm doing how my day was and, and you're uh, like hey i don't care screw your banting man yeah no i came in i was like i didn't come here for kind words and genuine interactions i came here for a fight like i came here <laughs> i came here to pick a fight what what are you doing <laughs> It was pretty funny. And then and He's then just doing I, CJO things, man. Yeah, I kept running my mouth like an idiot. And he ended up getting a friggin' mellow right in front of my face. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. Right in front of my face, too. That was the thing. That, that was, was the, the thing. thing. Ah, okay. <sighs> Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Give me like two seconds. Gotta go hit up the restroom real quick and then I'll be back. What did that restroom ever do to you? I don't know, but I'm hitting it up. <laughs> hey, hunting kid. Uh, it was a Bantang, Danny. I had a freaking Mela Bantang. I don't even have a rare Bantang yet. That's the other thing that grinds my gears. I got like six diamonds and no rares at all. Not even a stinky rare. Not even a friggin' stinky rare. Like, what do I gotta do? Get good? I don't get it. I don't understand. Yeah, CJO is annoyingly a good guy. Like, I want him to be a worse guy so I can justify how much I harass him and bully him. <sighs> but I can't. Every time I try to be mean and harass him, he just comes back with being nice. And then he like gets like some rare and he just shoves it in my face mm. tisk tisk all right well there's not jack diddly here hunting kid thanks for the sub man i appreciate that um uh, 1552 i hate running this river the passion so we're gonna go to this lake. Tony, have you checked this lake? I think you checked these already. Thank you, B. Jones. What 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 what, what, what about his support did he do, Caitlin? What did he do? What was so nice? Huh? What did he do that was so nice? <laughs> pulling CG, it's like pulling a cute puppy. Oh, I'll have to go look at that later, the Caitlin and Caitlin. Blowing Cicho is like, I don't know about a cute puppy, but definitely a puppy. Definitely a puppy. Uh, I kind of have to go right into the wind to get to that lake. Ooh, that's going to be a no for me, dog. Uh, But I could go here. I know that lake has hog deer. 
I might go try this one again, see if any new hog gear showed up. Hey, Matthew, how you doing? When do we hit the gritty? Guys, I, I'm not going to lie. I have not learned how to gritty yet. I really need to learn how to gritty because I said I would at 10k. And we're already over 2k. So I'm running out of time. I don't know if I'll be able to learn it in time. It's like doing something with your hands or something. And then you got to like use your feet to do stuff. I don't know, man. It's all it's pretty complicated. I can boot, scoot, and buggy, but oof. it's a gritty. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Hey, how do you welcome? Um, I do not have a great one, Fallow. Um, you'll see mostly multiplayer hopping content from me. Uh, hey, I kind of grind a little bit sometimes, but my grinds are very casual. Casual grinds. Very casual. Like, like if, if I shot like six deer in a row but yeah that's kind of a grind for me you know sam uh no to... puppy monkey baby you don't have to find every zone if you're not doing hm if you're not doing hm just make sure that your uh animals are spawning in the same place as you shot them <laughs> if they go missing you might have to go try and figure out where they are but other than that you should be fine we're talking about when are we hitting the gritty drippy would you say you're gwiddly hitting the gwiddy? <laughs> raid? I don't think raid. I don't think that is. Uh, I don't think what Mike Gasecki did was uh, hitting the gritty. That looks like a very dark hog deer. I don't it's, think a it's a hoggy doggy. I don't think it's a rare, but it looks dark. Oh, that's a diamond for sure. Yeah, that's a diamond right there. Let's go. Hey, We're finally getting the dimes again. Thank you, Sattler. Double six. I appreciate the sub, man. Wow. Their drink time is on. The hog deer drink time is almost up, and they are still arriving at their zones. Jeez. <sighs> that's so bad. Oh, Why no. is that even a thing? I mean, like, there's like, our that's diamonds. The thing, right? Whenever the whenever the zones start at a certain time and end at a certain time, right? That are back to back to back. Like they're obviously either going to be late to a zone or they're going to be late leaving a zone, right? Or they're going to leave it. They're either going to leave a zone early or leave it or get to a zone late. One of the two. So. But still, arriving at the end of drink time is a little bit much. A little extreme. Did you know some black bear don't even get to their zone before the time is up? That they is just never make it to a zone. It's awful. <laughs> Look, I'm a, I'm a Mike Gusecki guy, okay? All right, I'm going to hit this here. Yes, Otter. Some black bear literally never make it to their zones on time. Um, when I was doing a bunch of bear thing. grinding, I was uh, trying to find, you know, the stragglers that would show up at different zones. And there would be some times where, since I was doing herd management, I knew where a lot of my animals were, right? I knew where they were. I knew what level they were. And there would be sometimes I would go to a lake at the end of the drink time and never see a single male bear. Even though I knew there was at least one or two males there, they just wouldn't show up. Bear grinding is so garbage. I don't understand why they made them so bad. Caitlin, earmuffs. Caitlin, earmuffs. Yeah. Close your ears, Caitlin. Don't listen. <laughs> didn't EW you... say they fixed that? No, they didn't say they fixed that. They said they make it so every animal um, should, on average, get to their zone a little bit quicker. However, that isn't much for bears because they used to be terrible, and now they're terrible but slightly less terrible than they were before. 
if that makes sense. They're still garbage, but they're not as bad as they were a few months ago. But still bad enough to where some of them don't even make it to their zones. Yeah, that's not great. They need to rework the way bears uh, respawn work. and stuff. Rework the way they work? Rework the way they work, yeah. Pretty much. Dolphins. Ooh. Ooh. Dolphins. Oh, ENA, I'm sorry, buddy. That's going to be rough, man. 92. Wait, he scored at the bottom. Really? I do not have very good hog deer luck. I'll tell you that. that guy's Bugs. Bad. Bugs. You have. Are you actually asking that question? Oh, oh, Lord. If you didn't know, Jaxi Beard is a member of Expansive Worlds, which is the developer of Call of the Wild. Of course, he's going to spawn in great ones and freeze them. He's not a cheater. He's a developer. <laughs> he literally has access to all the developer tools to do that, to show everything off pre-update. Hey, Johnny. I can't believe I just read that as a question, and I can't believe that was a genuine question and not a joke. <laughs> well, I mean, if, you, if you're not familiar with stuff, I guess, right? We kind of take for granted that we've known him for been watching his stuff for years, so we know the whole arc. But yeah, when he I'm I not talking about Jaxi, some other random dude on YouTube. Oh, what gotcha. I I was just reading up and somebody was talking. Somebody mentioned Jaxi. Somebody had said you were talking about Jaxi. Uh, I don't know then. If anybody's doing that on YouTube, <laughs> they deserve to like not be able to play anymore. Yeah, Jack Liam says Jaxi's the worst hacker ever. Uh, yeah, because he can't spawn in the right things he wants to spawn in sometimes. <laughs> that is hilarious. So. <laughs> Rest in pieces. Oh, love that guy. Got you, Gray. Okay. In that case, yeah, I've I've known for I've known for a while that that hey, person Lily. is a cheater, right? I feel like anybody that uses mods for content is kind of a lower form of human being. I mean, in this community, mods are... Mods are not permitted by yeah. the developers. They're very bad. The game was not built to be modded by the community. Some are. Definitely Arc, not. For example. But not This not game ain't, though. Yeah. I mean, there, there were issues where some weird like modding bug could happen in multiplayer like and mess up your actual like spawns and stuff um it's just uh not not good especially multiplayer do whatever you want on your own game as long as you don't affect other people that are not willing to yeah you know, interact with mods you know what i mean if somebody asks for it i mean that's different i guess but you know do it everyone in your own game, but if you're bringing in a multiplayer, that's a no-no. Sims mods. What if I mod to put bikinis on Ruse? Um. Now, hold on, hold on, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk. You've piqued my interest. I was going to say, I'm not quite sure what I just read. <laughs> oh, man. Matthew. Uh, I mean, listen. I did not know how uh, content creators got so many trophies until I started doing it as a part-time job. Are you really following me this far, honestly? Lady. Leave me alone. Uh, I didn't know how they got so many trophies. I kind of thought maybe it was getting a little fishy getting a diamond every episode. And then you know what happened? And then I became... You discovered the beauty of multiplayer hopping. No, I no. even before then. Even before then. I 
became friends with you. We became friends on Steam, and I saw how much freaking time this dude plays this freaking game. It's all the time. I do play a lot. All the time. It is a all little day, absurd. Every day. And I'm like, that's how he's getting so many diamonds. It's not like he's like going out for 10, 15 minutes and finding a diamond. He's going out. I have like the 15 minutes of footage you see in a video. He's been literally filming for like six hours. And he gets 15 minutes of like footage. Like, that's how. And then I get on here. I start like actually doing this for, you know, a part time job. And I've got three Bella Crocs. And I'm not even good at this game. You know? Yeah, bro, like, we're not good. He kind of garbage, not going to lie. <laughs> Come on. So I get it. I get it. Uh, I can see how people might think that about like content creators that do it as a full-time job. I, it's just... Um, but that's just it. It's a job. So we yeah, put everything into it. It's, it's the whole... It's all day, every day. And he's not... And listen, it's not just Monday through Friday. It's Saturday, Sunday. He's playing like I log in at like eleven a.m. Bro, bro ask me if I can time. if I can chill and play some games and like, nah, dude, I'm grinding. Yeah, like I'm like, okay, well, see you later. Oh well. It's like I log in on I log in at Saturday on like at eleven a.m., which is nine a.m. his time, and he's already up playing, filming for a video or grinding or something. You guys ready for this? I played 97.5 hours in the last two weeks, and that's a low hour week because of how quickly we got those first four great play, fallow. You didn't even play at all yesterday because the 4th of July. Pretty much. So, like, that's how. But, yeah, no, I get it. Sometimes it's a seems normal a week is like 140 hours plus. Or normal yeah. two weeks. I guess it's two weeks. I misspoke. Not 97 hours in one week. 97 in two weeks is what I've spent. Normally, it's 140 weeks. plus in two weeks. But because I've had a few days off of streaming and mm -hmm. I got the great ones quicker than I expected, uh, we've yep. been able to go a little bit lighter on things. Normally, I think Lady Legend, hold on, let me look. I think Lady Legend has like 170 hours in the last two weeks, which is crazy. Yeah, it, it's insane how much these full-time content creators play. Lady but spends it, so much time on the game, more than I do even. But then it makes sense, crazy. you know? It all makes sense at that point. Like, okay, that's how they have all this stuff. They do this all day, every day. And it's not even normal work hours. It's more than normal work hours. My Steam is broken. I can't view Lady's profile. Hey, right, there we go. Let's see. My gosh. Lady has 8,600 hours on Call of the Wild. That's like 3,000 oh, oh. more than me. That's insane. That's crazy. And that's and here, why she here has I all thought, the trophies she has. And here I thought we played very similar hours. But Lady started playing PC after I started playing PC. Wow. And has more hours than I do by 3,000. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> that's crazy. That's how you have... That is how she has all those trophies. Yeah. To be fair, though, um... I'm like at the beginning of like being a parent, right? And so I got a lot more time off camera as well. And Lady, I think most of her kids are almost adults for the most part. So she probably, probably. has more time to dedicate to content. Tony, I think I'm going to bounce from this server. I haven't seen anything since I got that leucistic. Yeah, leucistic. that's right. You leave Tony. Sorry, Tony. Hey, I'll invite you to the next one. Are we bored of this game? Nah. That's just it. Like, we have that many hours and we're still not bored of it. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's a little late in the day. Yeah, I don't know how old Lady is. All I know is that she has kids and... Oh, there's a five. Let's go. All I know is she has kids and they are... Almost adults, for the most part. I think all of them are except maybe one? I you could be wrong that? there. Did I miss a super chat for Pike? Thank you, Pike. 26 days. Pike, that did not come through on the YouTube chat for some reason. That's that super weird. Bad. Thank you, Pike. Got something. Mm, no zones here? I'll take no croc zones. Let's go, baby. Oh, that sings, Kindle. That sings, Kindle, great number one fan. Yeah, for sure, Mr. Schrader. Yeah, there is a lot to do. I mean, like, I don't, like, I haven't even started grinding for great ones. Like, I don't even have a great one yet. And I've got hundreds of hours on. My PC save alone, let alone my PlayStation save, which I have more hours on. <laughs> bro, bro, putting in the hours. I don't know, Pike. It came up on the notifications, though. Like, I can see your normal chats. Oh, gotcha, Caitlin. Mr. Schrader, I do not need another mellow croc. If it's if it's a small mellow croc, I'm gonna let somebody else come get it. A smaller croc. Because I do not need another small mellow croc. A big one, I can, I'll take a big one. I've only got one big mellow croc. Gosh, can I please click what? properly? Ah! Nope. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'm not sure fishing and farming. Clicking is tough. Uh, I've had that too. Uh, when YouTube chat is like connecting and disconnecting. This is why I didn't want to mod Crohn's a holic. We've already done collabs in the past, uh, Phelpsy. I don't know if there'll be any in any in, in, yeah shit English is tough. I don't know if there will be any in the future, but we've done them in the past for sure. So if you haven't already, check them out. Uh, hey Noah, how's it going? Uh, okay, we gotta get them crocodiles. Uh, I'm just going for whatever I find, Kindle. Will Call of the Wild ever be free on PC? I mean, it was on Epic Games last week. Come on. But uh, it won't ever be, like, permanently free, I don't think. Hard to say. Maybe. Maybe one day, but not right now. Uh, Merle, the Tang are all over this coast. Man, you go from here all the way up. This guy... Is he doing normal stuff? Normal okay. stuff. Yeah, he's low level. He just is shooting everything he sees. It looks like it looks like he killed a whole herd of Bantang, maybe. Oh, fun times. Yeah. Sounds amazing. Uh, when did Crow and I become friends, and how do we become friends? Um, we became friends God, a few years ago. Um, I found his YouTube channel because I shot an elk with a 300 and it made diamond and i'd never seen that before and i'd had hundreds of hours in the game but i was shooting everything with the 300 so i was like what is it i typed in youtube what is a diamond i call the wild what is a diamond pros videos popped up so i started watching those to learn me something i didn't learn anything um and then he opened up a arc server Ark Survivally Bowl. I wanted to play Ark. I was already wanting to play Ark, and I was like, well, oh, I'm getting charged by a nine legendary croc. Let's go. Let's freaking yeah. go. Oh, bro, that's not bro. vitals. That's not vitals. 
That was bad. No, nah, it's just because it was so close. It's a weird angle. Oh, he's going to die, but that's not vital. So I couldn't get a shot on him. Ha! Ah! Yeah. I probably just botched fun it. Yeah. Of me for the times I botched stuff. You ah, suck! I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got plenty of diamond crocs, so I'm good. Do you have a botch room in your lodge? Uh, or I even don't. a full botch lodge? I don't know. Oh, uh, you should, dude. I probably should, yeah. Get yourself a botch lodge. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, man. he died. Um, Freaking wrecked. No, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Whenever they're charging you, it's hard to get a good shot on them. Because it's... You're zeroed for 75 meters at like 3 meters. That's how. Johnny. We talk, we sassin, Johnny? We sassafrassin? Yeah, let's get some, let's get some more botching. Fassin' and frassin', brother. Um, but yeah, so that's how uh, Crow and I met. Was that. And then... Um, watch it. It's like... Happens to be like a... Mela and I couldn't even see it. Oh, it would have been diamond too. <laughs> Feels oh, bad. Sucks man. to suck, bruh. Just missed every vital. Cause bad, Can't am I right? Cause it. bad, bro. What the? Well, oh my what gosh, is. what am I watching? Here's what it is. Oh my gosh. It did not that does not hurt as bad as that red fox. Bro bro. Ooh, what? I'm watching a fallow deer like headbang hardcore right now. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> He's literally like his entire body is flailing back and forth at rapid like light speed. But his antlers aren't moving. His antlers have not moved. They're just hovering above him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> What am I watching? I'm so concerned right now. Those kind of botches don't bother <laughs> me as much as um, where everything looks like should have been good. You know, that one, it's charging me. I think I, I take a quick shot on it from a weird angle. Try to get it. it is what it is. My gosh. Yes, those are rare, Chris. Very rare. Crones of Hog, that's... I literally... You know what I did? I answered it literally on stream. I said, this is literally why I was afraid of modding Crones on of Hog. stream. Those are definitely rare. Definitely rare, Chris. So I found out it's a little bit better to run the coast from like the grass because you don't get attacked as much and you yeah get more of a chance to spot things first okay okay got a professional gamer right here Barbara, are you a professional gamer i feel like you are after that little tidbit right there um what, did it, what was my tidbit run the grass yeah uh, I, well the definition of a professional is basically if you get paid to perform a certain task or you like kind of do if duty, you think about it i do yeah so technically i am yeah te like technically it is, you are. it is a low bar i mean of course it is i wish mr schrader if i was a professional gamer girl i probably would get more super chats <laughs> i know i know crow would be uh. chat would be super chat me a lot more that's for sure <laughs> Wow. Bree would actually have to be worried. You little freak, bro. bro. <laughs> You're a little freak. Hey, Amanda. So proud of you, Amanda. That's what I'm talking about. They deserve it. I'm uh, stereotyping all stingrays. I think they're all murderous little bastards. And I know, I know Steve Irwin wouldn't agree. I know what Steve would say. I don't care. Probra don't care. You heard it here first, folks. I'm not him. I'll never be him. He ain't him. He'll never be him. Probra will never, never be, be him. Are you going to run up here? Well, guys, Honestly? we hit 1,900 kills on the grind. We are literally about to hit a 2,000 kill Damn. grind. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Oh no. Don't make oh, this no. like I buy grind being 3,000. I need a rare croc more than a diamond. And that's the other thing, like... You kind of like... Would it be cool to have another diamond croc? Absolutely. Are they the most exciting diamonds to get? Not necessarily. You're at 3,700. Ooh, that stinks, Merle. Jeez. That sucks, dude. But when I'm almost so seven close hours, Jaden, when I'm so close to completing all of the rare croc like color variations, like I gotta go for it, you know. You Bro, gotta look at go all for them fav actions, eh, mate? Got the fav actions. Well, I, I don't think it's fur, cause it's crocodile. Skin fur. Skin fur. Ew, gross. You've got that. He's got that skin fur. The skin variations, mate. He's got that skin fur. He's one of them. My favorite map is probably. Well, okay, not probably. Uh, my favorite map is uh, easily Reventuli. I love all the birds, the up one birds. Reventuli, cost. Those are my favorite uh, things to hunt. Is that a crocosilly all the way up there? A crocosilly. You love them. All the way up there, huh? Uh, so Reventuli is my favorite. Emerald Coast is my second favorite. The coolest trophy I have. Uh, my favorite trophy is that Diamond Bantang we talked about, but the coolest one I have, it's probably my my uh, like big gold Mela Bobcat or the big gold Mela uh, Crocodile, saltwater crocodile. Nice, Jessica. I do have I have a uh, piebald. Oof. Croc as well. They look really cool. I need a light brown and a leucistic. Uh, I'm hunting uh, crocs on the coast. I need those. I need those last two rare variations, and I'm good. I don't. Caitlin, Caitlin, listen. It ran out in front of me. What am I supposed to do? Not shoot it? Come on. We all know that wasn't going to happen. It was not going to happen, mate. It was not going to happen. Not going to happen. Uh, do what? What car do I drive? A uh, RAV4. And that's either... We have two RAV4s. You ever get really? yourself a bro before? I've got... I've, I got no kids, but I got I got the cars for them, so Yeah I get I get two car seats and an adult Human being in the back of back of my RAV4 You get a lot of versatility out of those RAV4s Let me tell you <laughs> Yeah, Sam Thank you, big fella, appreciate Holy. that Yeah, the pie crocs are cool I like the albino was nice. I mean, if I get any super rare, it's still probably going to be the pheasants. Super rare pheasant is probably what I want the most. They are pretty sick. But man, would it feel good to get a super rare? Feel so good to get a super rare uh, leucistic croc. My goodness. Imagine just shoving that CJO's face. He's like, I got the first ever Lucis Croc. <laughs> you know what's gonna be one of the rarest super rares in the game? What's that? Super rare Lucistic Rusa. Oh yeah, probably. That would be absurdly rare. So would Albino. Like Albino and Lucistic Rusa super rare would be so incredibly rare. Oh my gosh, Amanda. It's crazy. Nah, I'm not shooting those. 
Not sure. This isn't my map, the hunter, so I don't really need to shoot these things. Uh, fishing and farming. I would say... Uh, I don't think you can get banned for using uh, mod Call of the Wild mods on your own map, but I will tell you, I will tell you this: if you get if you use mods on Call of the Wild, you openly run the risk of ruining your game. Your save file is at risk when you do it. <laughs> you could lose every trophy you have if you if you install the wrong mod or the mod messes up or it breaks you could very well ruin your Lose entire everything. game. And that is one of the biggest reasons why the Call of Duty De Call of Duty, Call of the Wild devs Call of um, Duty! advised not to do it. Ah, uh, uh, Call of Duty, huh? Yeah, Call of Duty. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, modding in Call, in, uh, Call of the Wild is about as bad as playing Call of Duty nowadays, so... <laughs> Call of Duty trash. Now, I will tell you, I don't personally care what you do on your own map if you don't bring it in multiplayer. Um, but, yeah, it's definitely a big risk putting those. I wouldn't even do that fishing and farming. If I, put it this way, if I were you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even take that risk fishing and farming. Would not even take that risk. I would not either. Yeah, Fellblade, that um, that was very unfortunate. That sucks. The hell was that? Oh, that was the song. I forgot. This song has a weird, like, bird call noise in the song, and I think it's in the game every time. Uh, it's not going super great, Jebba. Um, I got a I got a female Lucistica Rusa. And then I botched a uh, nine uh, diamond uh, croc when it attacked me. Shot it point blank. Oh, Johnny, it's a songbird. Oh, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, we, we, uh... got banned. Bro, what do you drive? I drive the pain train to Fallow Town. Kind of got felt a little weird when you said that. <laughs> I drive the pain train straight to Fallow Deer Town. I don't think I don't think I like the way you said that. <laughs> we drive the I, pain train to Fallow Town and we beat them down. A man. So Amanda wants me to tell you that she went uh, stingray hunting, and they had to get oh a new my. guide. They had to get a new guide because uh, he got stung. Oh no. Yeah. And she was able to grab a couple out of the water. Well, sheesh. Sounds good, JC. Hey, Kevin. How's it going? How's it the going, sir? Uh, Crow Jemma says get good. <laughs> who has four great one following? Who has one? Nice shake. I'm assuming you're talking about Jeppa. Yes. Jebba want to talk crap? Pull up and get the slap. <laughs> oh my God. It has Let to it rhyme, down. or else it doesn't count, you know? <laughs> I know. Okay. Oh, we're going aggressive. Yeah, see you later. See you all later. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Ridiculous. Gotcha. You know, gotcha. I think it's catching on, bro. Everybody's calling you bro Bruzzy now. Nate finally got there to catch on, huh? Yeah, I've seen so many people say bro Bruzzy recently. How about that? Crazy. 
Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hashtag bro Bruzzy bad, am I right, lol? It doesn't even mean anything. No, it doesn't. It's just a weird way to say your name. That's classic. Mr. Bro Bruzzy. Yep, fishing and farming. There's a lot of... There's a lot of risk involved with that all around. Sounds good, Jebo. Thank you, buddy. I do not have any great ones, Anthony. No great ones. I'm, uh... I'm not a super big, uh... Gr great one grinder. Uh, I think the great ones are cool and they're they're super neat. That's not pretty a big neat, great one man. grinder still. That's pretty neat. Uh, and I feel like you guys have enough. Uh, you guys see enough grinding any great one grinding anyway, right? Nah, they want more. Mm, I'm sure some I'm sure some people do, but I think some people also appreciate having uh, the option of not of watching somebody. Go through multiplayer, you know, instead of uh, always just grinding. Uh, the hunter. I don't really know if there's a best time for Crocs, honestly. Whenever Brober's not hunting them. I mean, well, that's not true because I'm, I've got a lot of rare and diamond Crocs. But yes, but for other people, the time you're not hunting them is the best time. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Exactly. If I don't get to the, yeah, if I beat you to the coast, good luck. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much they're they're re they rest most of the day. I I haven't put it this way, I haven't found a bad time. Not to... Hey Abigail, how you doing? Dude, we're on a 1900 kill grind. Uh, uh. Gotcha, Anthony. Yeah, Abigail, I'm multiplayer. Guys, the kill count is 1,912 right now. Okay. We made it to where somebody's already. Oh, man. Been. So, we're going to go. Okay, what's the one doing? That's what the one's doing. Okay. We're going to go somewhere. Okay, he's still down there killing those Bantang. 1138. Yes, let's go. Let's go check these lakes. Uh, yes, great ones can be in multiplayer. Um, Mel has a great multiplayer, great one, right? Yes, a white sure? tail. A white tail deer off of Revon to the coast. Blanky, what's up, dude? Nighttime croc hunting? Ah, oh, that sounds like torture. That sounds awful. Why would you do that to yourself? Probably, I mean, I don't know. You torture yourself great one grinding all the time. But it's not at nighttime unless it's bears. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what's worse, right? Which is why I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I learned from my mistakes. Don't do Indeed. what I did. Indubitably. Flee, you fool! Don't do what I did. You still got life, kid. You got a long do life to live. Don't grind the bears. Don't do it. Yeah, pretty much, Sean. And another thing to think about is, like, if you find a great one in multiplayer, right? There's a very high chance that the host is not even the original host. Usually multiplayer servers get passed around from person to person like a million times throughout the day. So chances are if you find a crazy trophy, that host is probably already left. Yeah. Most likely. Yeah, it's very, very common for that to be the case. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to ask, like, hey, are you the original host? Like, is this your map? Are you the original host? 
wouldn't hurt to ask. You could always ask. They may not yeah. be telling the truth. But you could ask. However, I do not recommend asking the host or saying like, yo, you got a great one on your map uh, to the host because there's a high yep. chance that if they're not the original host, they're just going to kick you and take it for themselves. Yep. So if you're going to do anything, ask if they're the, the original host. And if they say they're not, just shoot the great one. Yep. I would say that's the courteous thing to do, right? That is going above and beyond to be courteous to somebody about it, right? But I, you could also... Yeah, just take it. I mean, you also have to know whenever you open your map up to multiplayer, everything is fair game. You are saying you can come on here and shoot whatever you want. You're forfeiting the right to those trophies, you know? Like, it's very, like, very... You could, you could say, like, hey, don't shoot this or don't shoot this, right? And, and somebody, you know, they might... They might follow that you know they might say okay i'm not gonna shoot you know i'm gonna do what they ask and and not shoot you know this animal or this animal but that's not guaranteed so whenever you open your map up to multiplayer you're always gonna take that risk and a lot of times much, i yeah. find i find that the maps are in multiplayer because the games started in private multiplayer and then the original host left and they went to public No respawns. Wow. Nice, Johnny. So that's that's what I say. So just know that if you're going to open your map to multiplayer, just know that. You got to know yourself. what you got to know, you know. No respawns again. Wow. Crazy. Well, I think it's time that I end the stream, guys. We've been going for seven wow. hours, so. Seven, that's it? Only seven I hours? Know, right? Not my normal 10 to 15, you know? Wow. That's a shame. I know, right? That's a crying shame. We killed like 430, I think like 430 deer today. Let me look. Later, Will. 1915 minus 1482. We killed 433 uh, fallow deer. Hey, that's pretty neat. Crazy, dude. Absolutely crazy, man. Okay. I am really hoping I have something up over this hill here. All right, everybody. I will see you all in the uh, the next stream. We'll be back probably like what tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. So uh, I'll see you then. Peace. Nice, Carson. Not really.